Hey everybody, this is Christine Bertram and I am coming to you live from the hive for what feels like the fifth time this week, but maybe not. <laughs> I all of a sudden thought, I'm like, it's Friday. Yay, Friday. That's awesome. So and the other it's just today. crazy though, because I feel like Kelly was live with you guys on Monday and then we, I did tip Tuesday and then Wednesday, <laughs> we did three of them, but we aren't airing them all. And then today, so <laughs> it feels like every day this week doing a live, but that's good. We love it because you guys love it. And uh, we have fun stamping together. So hopefully I'm live in the right place. I have not seen it come through on my phone. Oh, maybe there it is. Yay. Hi, Faye like Gabby. So Hi, Linda Hall. Hi, Joan Gordon. So Joan Gordon, <laughs> I don't know if you caught it, but you were the winner of one of the cards last night. And that's why I felt like deja vu with your name, I think. Hi, Karen and Shannon and Sandy. So Joan, I need your phone number, not your phone number. I need your address if you want me to send your card to you. Um, if I don't have your address, I don't know where to send it. And you were a lucky ducky winner. So um, I don't remember which card it was, but um, <laughs> deja vu, yay. All right, you guys, we're here for the Memories and More class, which is the 18-card class. Hi, Carla Lake. Hi, Pauline. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Gwen. Um, it seems really intense and crazy, but you guys, I promise you, we will get through all of these cards lickety-split, and I just realized I need to go get myself some denim ribbon. Um, yeah, and then the the dots. <laughs> I was like, gosh, I was so ready for class. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I'm missing things. So uh, for those of you uh, who signed up for this class with me, there were two options. Hi, Cindy Runtree. Hi, Judy. Um, you could do the team option pricing. And I only had two people do that. And they were both in person on Wednesday. But everybody else got the whole ensemble from me. And um, I'll go through roll call in a little bit. But what I want to make sure is you guys have your products. And you know what? I didn't grab, hmm? of course, I didn't grab like the full size one. So give me tw 10 seconds. I'm going to go get my stuff. <laughs> I might be pulling a Kelly <laughs> and grabbing them from the other room. <laughs> you guys, that oh, was the funniest thing. Hi, Donna. Hi, Patsy. Hi, Mary Ellen. Hi, Becky. Hi, Elaine. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. I was upstairs talking with a customer while I was prepping card materials for getting stuff ready for my mom on third Tuesday. And all of a sudden, Kelly's upstairs. And I'm like, Kelly, aren't you live? She's like, yeah. I'm like, well, did you tell him you were going to be a couple minutes? <laughs> She's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so everybody must have waited very patiently for her. So, <gasps> oh, man. I, I hope that everything went well. It, I think it did. Hi, Jamie Collins. So, all right. For this class, you guys, those that got the kits from me, um, there's 17 of you for the online version. And um, hi, Brenda Lee from Ontario. Um, hi, Kathy Jean from Canada. Woohoo, we got Canada representing tonight. Um, so you guys should get, you would have gotten a whole pack from me in your priority envelope mailer. And it would include, I'm going to flip it down really quick just to make sure you guys have what you need. Um, my stuff is partially opened. You would have a pack not opened, right, of the, <laughs> hi, Patsy Hudson, um, of the classic matte dots, right, an unopened pack. So I... I have a lot of gray and white ones. That's primarily what I use. Um, she is a fast runner. And you know what's funny, Linda? I said, take a deep breath before you sit down because otherwise you're gonna be huffer puffing <laughs> in front of everybody and be like, <gasps> like, cause she really came in like a hot flash lightning and then she went right back. <laughs> oh man. Okay, hi Jean Terwilliger. Hi Bonnie I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. You guys would have a whole roll of the denim ribbon in your package that I sent you, okay? Um, in addition, you're gonna have this packet right here, which includes eight card bases, eight mats, doilies, labels, minus this little sacrificial lamb. We'll talk about that when the time comes. I forgot it because you can't see it behind where it is, but honestly, 
It's gonna be really easy. Almost everybody has paper in their house and we're gonna make it work. Um, this also came with the extra eight envelopes. Okay, so that was my extra add-on package. And then you guys, you would have gotten two more packs in your kit, right? You would have gotten the note cards and envelopes, which would look like, not this. Well, here are the envelopes. <laughs> I gotta go grab my note cards. Wow. <laughs> All right. So you would have an entire pack. The entire pack consists of 10 of this size, 10 of this size. And I've already used half in mine. And so this was what's left. Hi, Deanna Stell. So there's half. So you guys open up your packages while I'm jibber jabbering and talking. Okay. So open up your packs of note cards and envelopes. You honestly don't need the envelopes at the moment, right? So set your envelopes off to the side, okay? Um, the other thing you can do is start opening up um, the little Memories and More card pack, which consists of these four by sixes and uh, the four by threes. It also contains some sticker sheets, okay? So start opening up stuff. <clears throat> Hi, Gloria Shermo. So that's basically what you should have. Hi, Becky Gandolfo. Um, I'm going to roll my sleeves up, you guys, because they're hitting my hands and that's not good. <laughs> so, all right. So what I want you guys to think about while we're working on this class tonight is I am throwing this out there that I am doing it. Um, I had gotten um, some feedback from at least seven people who signed up already for class um, for the hand pen. So just so you guys know, I am going to do this exact same class in terms of getting the four paper product or like the four packages. Hi, Brenda Loveless and, and doing it for hand penned. And I'm working on getting a cover photo created. The class will not be in April, you guys. It will in fact be in May, which is fine. April is way too busy, full of everything of classes galore. So I looked at my calendar and so this will be in May, but you can RSVP now. In fact, I need you guys to RSVP for this next class now because the product is um, going to be retired. And I need to know how much um, to order based on everybody who signs up. So, um, and just so you guys know, um, that is what I have in the works for that. So just so you know, I, I talked about it last week, I think, and enough people expressed interest. And then you know what, Carissa was over on Wednesday and we mapped out the cards. And there's gonna be, I think, 16 cards for that class using all this product. So, oh, Feline, yes, sign you up, perfect. So I do have, um, just so you guys know, I do have like Leslie McMinn, Karen Cotton, Deanna Stell, Cindy Runtree, Cheryl Thomas, and Feline um, Mays. I'll put you down as well. So you guys, it's gonna run, so just keep in mind, it's gonna run exactly like this class for the most part, where there'll be add-on cards and like a little card packet that I um, add for six extra cards. You'll make 10. Um, with the products you get, but it'll leave you with enough to make 10 more if you want to exactly copy them. Like uh, we put some layouts together, which I think they're going to turn out really cool. So, all right. So that's, that's awesome. So um, just so that's coming out. Okay. As soon as I can, I'm hoping by early next week, I'll have that published. So, okay. So we'll quick, real quick while I have my class sign up sheet, um, Brenda Loveless, I was talking about a future class, not on the books, um, Sandy Wicklander, I'll sign you up. Uh, so Brenda Loveless, hi Char. Um, I was talking about a class that I threw out in the atmosphere <laughs> last week and it is going to be a class exactly like the one I'm doing tonight except for it features the hand pen product. Uh, and it's gonna be the same price, so porch pickup 50 and then um, mailing price is $59 because of the padded priority envelope. Um, and it worked out that way. I priced it out. And even with some of the stuff being retiring, I have the ribbon is a little bit more and the embellishments were a little bit more. So it all worked out exactly for the same pricing. It was really cool. Hi, Linda Hodge. All right. So Sandy Wicklander, I have you on the list for that. And you guys, all I need to know is that you're signed up so I can make sure I can get products ordered before they go out. And so as people sign up for it, I can make sure I get the, the stuff ordered and then I can guarantee that you have a spot at the class. So, <clears throat> hi, Debbie. Good evening to you as well. Okay, so I hope that that bot, oh, I didn't do the roll call. Of course. That's how today felt, you guys. One distraction after another, but always good distractions. But wow. If I tell you what I all got done today, you'd be like, wow, <laughs> that girl's crazy. Um, 
So woke up, Tyler forgot his phone at my house here. And so I did what the good girlfriend does and I took it to his work and um, play a little April Fool's joke on him in the interim, which is good. Um, <laughs> little one, not big one, not, like not to stress him out too much. But then <clears throat> all in all, got the eight extra waves cards kits prepped. Mom and I made 12 swap cards for my swap tomorrow. Um, I'll show you the cards if I have to run up and get something there on the table there. And then we made 22 little gifts for all of my team who um, signed up for uh, on tour, which is tomorrow. So Mary Ostrich, I see your name here that you're saying to sign you up. Um, we will always connect. Um, I need to work on getting payment from everybody that signs up uh, so that I can get the products ordered. So, oh, Brenda Loveless. Um, yep, sell me $59, Brenda, that's perfect. Yep, and we'll call it for this class. Um, and as soon as I get the payment, you guys, that's when I mark you off as paid. So, Brenda, I have you on the list. Um, and then, <clears throat> so we got 22 of those little, uh, I wanna show them to you, but I wanna wait till tomorrow because I want them to be a surprise for my team. So on Monday, I'll share with you, or whenever I do my next live, I'll share with you what I made. They turned out super cute. I had little bee trinkets and made little goodie bar type things. So um, got those done, got ready for class, drew some winners. Worked on, you guys, it's pre-order day today. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm still got that little cough. Um, <clears throat> I got the pre-order in and just, woof, boom. <laughs> Happy Friday, <laughs> right? So, <clears throat> gosh, you guys, if I talk too fast and if I don't breathe right, <laughs> I get that little cough. Yeah, and it's been three weeks of that little nagging thing and I, I am trying to pickle it. So, okay, so... <laughs> I still think we didn't do roll call. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Sandy Wicklander, D. Serena, Patsy Roberts, Karen Cotton, Feline Mays, Jennifer Jones, Doris Monson, Barb Moynan, Carla Lake, Chris Niebaum, Betty Pyle, Jeannie Parker, Cindy Runtree, Faye Godby, Jamie Collins, Sue Somerville, and Mary Carls. Thanks for paying, Feline. I'll watch for it when I get off the live. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> that leaves three more that, hi, Lisa Nealon, um, <laughs> Lisa Nealon, just so you know, I've been meaning to call you, um, um, how did I ever work full-time? That is a good question, right, Linda? Um, Lisa, you were like number two on my waiting list for getting a caddy, and I have a caddy for you, <laughs> so I'm heading up to Appleton on Tuesday, uh, so, if you are able to make connections with me on Tuesday, let's make that happen. Okay, so I have three, hi Vicki Tillett, I have three sets left unaccounted for. So what happens is mom and I always kit up the stuff that we need to. So I have three extra sets of these kits left. And if anybody else missed the boat on signing up or you think you did, you can still get in on this class. And this class tonight was $50 or $59 mailed. And I would uh, up to do up to three more. And if anybody's interested, just reach out to me and let me know so I can make sure I can pop it off in the mail to you. Um, I have another order going in with two-day shipping. And so I'll have the product early next week and I can turn it around really fast for you guys. So, um, all right. <clears throat> so, I hope you guys have all of your packages open, um, ready to go, because what we're gonna do together as a group is, hi Mary Hornkey, we're gonna go through and lay out all the pieces. And we did this for the gingerbread memories and more class uh, last uh, November when I did that class, and it worked so smoothly. And so that's what we're gonna do again today as a group, lay out all of our pieces, get everything in order, cut the paper that we need to, and then just start creating and putting them together. You guys are gonna be blown away at how easy these cards get put together. We had seven here on Wednesday night and the first person finished, I wanna say at 8.30 and started at five. So two and a half hours. Oh, is that three and a half hours? So about three and a half hours, but you guys, I cruise a little bit more. So hi, Stacy Burns, hi, Lisa. So just as a reminder, if anybody is still interested in this class, I still have this kit available. All right, so I'm gonna flip down the camera so you guys can see what I've got going on. Oh, okay. <coughs> got that tickle all right roll up the sleeves guys all right so just so you know all the people hi Patricia Piscopio all of the people who participated in this class were emailed the heart and homes memory and more uh, PDF tutorial um, it was emailed out on Wednesday morning 
and it's a long one, you guys. I mean, they're, this is what my PDF tutorials look like. <laughs> they, they, have, <clears throat> they have pictures, they have the supply list, they have directions. And so, you guys, if you have this open in front of you, great. Otherwise, I'm going to refer to this as we're going through. Hi, Elaine Rebeck. Catching the replay later <laughs> with a glass of wine. I love it. All right, so this is what we're going to work through as we put our cards together. So I just want you guys to know that that was sent out to everybody. Um, so what you guys need to do is set your envelopes off to the side. You don't need the envelopes right now. And what you need is five of, hi, Zaina. You need five of these smaller ones. So one, two, three, four, five, right? It comes with 10. So put the other five away and you can use them for a rainy day, okay? <clears throat> and then you're going to need five of these. So one, two, three, four, five. Save the other five. You're going to be able to use those other 10 to make identical cards if you want later in life. Hi, Kay Weir. So you have these bases. These are called card bases. <clears throat> these are called card bases. And then you have card mats. So in my PDF tutorial, you guys, I refer to these as mats. And <clears throat> you should, this is what you need to do. And then I'm going to talk a little bit to give you guys a little time. This comes with a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. It comes with 14 of these four by sixes. Hi, Peggy Hit. Hi, Jody. It comes with seven, 14 of these, two of each one. Okay, I've already pulled out a set for myself, and that's what I've used in the cards that I already made, right? So I already used half of my set in this ensemble of cards. <clears throat> so what you guys need to do is let's pretend there's two of each. One, two, one, two, one, two. You guys, I'm trying to like just explain. So just divide your pay, you know, your stack in half, okay? So you're gonna have a pile with seven, a pile with seven. Take those seven and one of them goes away. Put it with your envelopes out on the other side, wherever you have your envelopes, okay? Get, I hope that makes sense. Give me some thumbs ups. Make sure you understand this because when you first open up your pack, it is a stack. And we designed the class, Chris and I designed this in a manner that you're only using half of these and half of these for the 18 cards. And that leaves half left for you guys to make more cards. <coughs> okay? <clears throat> so the same thing needs to happen with the little pack. So one here, 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 one here. Be careful. They messed up two of them, like that they're not next to each other. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. So back and forth. Just This is going to be the easiest thing for you guys. Completely divide your pack in half so that <clears throat> you end up with two separate piles. And one of the piles needs to go over there, away from you. Don't even get it mixed up with what we're working on. And save the other pile. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You should have 18 little guys left. Seven big ones makes 25. And then 25 over somewhere else. Okay? So I need for you guys to let me know when you have all of that done and divide it up. I'm seeing lots of thumbs ups. As soon as I give you guys like maybe 30 more seconds, we're going to go to town. as I hydrate my throat. Okay. So <clears throat> the other thing while you guys are finishing the dividing, I did pull in this, <clears throat> this stamp set. I used some of the sentiments and this big flower. <clears throat> I used a misty moonlight ink pad that pulled in <clears throat> and the smoky slate. Now in class on Wednesday night, they wanted more. <laughs> They're like, can we have the B? Can we have this? Can we have this? And yes, when I'm in person with people in class, it's really easy just to go to my stamps and grab whatever I need or whatever they want. So just so you know, the complimentary stamp set to this Blessings of Home, <laughs> you guys, I was calling this Honey Bee Blessings because I was merging the two names together, but they wanted the Bs. So if you do happen to have, hi, Becky, if you do happen to have the honeybee home, the bees are super adorable. 
to add on the inside of your cards um, or to add to your envelopes. And then what we used was cinnamon cider. Now, I did not write that in the PDF tutorial. I only referenced these three things, you guys, because that's really what I used. I never even finished. I'll be honest with you guys. I have naked insides. There's nothing there. It's white. Okay, so just so you know, I might be pulling in some of these other things to work with the cards tonight. All right. <clears throat> All of these stamps are found, these two stamp sets are found in the mini Stampin' Up! catalog. So I'm going to make a little room and get these out of here. And we're going to start in order how the PDF tutorial is, okay? So this is important, you guys. Make sure you have a little space. <laughs> All right. So how I wrote, hi, Sue from Ohio. Um, how I did the PDF tutorial is I started off with the little baby cards, those four by sixes, went to the A2s, and then I went to the big ones. And what we're going to do to make this very, very easy for you for later in life or when you decide to put this together, like let's say you can't stay for the whole live right now, we're going to get all your pieces laid out, okay? <clears throat> Be aware that there is a sticker sheet in here. Thanks for sharing, Sue. I appreciate it. There are two sticker sheets. Again, there's four. You need to take one of each. Hi, Kathy Beck. Hi, Wendy Westmoreland. You need to take one of each of these, so a set, and move it over town, like to the other side of the room or something. You only need to use the two sticker sheets, one of each, okay? So we designed it to that regard, too, so that you got to save the other half. Okay, so what you need for this first card right here, <clears throat> you need one of your card bases. Well, <clears throat> you're going to need all of your, like, little baby card bases. So these little guys right here. So I'm going to just start making a pile, okay, guys? So the first pile here is this card base. And when you look at the card, which is right here, there's actually nothing else that goes on it from a card perspective or like a paper perspective. These are the stickers. <clears throat> so if you wanted to, you could, in essence, take your scissors and cut this. I wouldn't take it off, but if you want to keep this all together you could, in essence, put that sticker there and then the one that it says for you. So if you feel like you're gonna be good with figuring out that where the stickers are, you don't have to cut them apart. But this helps people to actually put the stickers right there, okay? So that's the first card. Don't worry about ribbon, don't worry embellishments. What we're trying to do is just make a pile of everything from start to finish. <clears throat> All right, so this next card, you're gonna grab another one of these little baby mats or bases. And then this is a whole conglomeration of stickers. <clears throat> the card looks like this and it has some labels. So the labels are part of my add-on that I gave to you extra. So what you could do is pull out everything except for you don't need the envelopes, you guys. So just set those envelopes off to the side for now. But what you have in here are some doilies and labels. You're gonna need to pull out the cinnamon cider label and one of these white labels. And then there's also a card mat. So you need to grab your little baby mats here and find that one, which you guys, if you look at it close up, it's got little flowers. <coughs> oh, I'm gonna get rid of that yet. Okay, so I just, the wrong, I thumbed through here. Oh man, there it is. It's this little guy right here. So on the back side of it, it says, celebrate, celebrate, go on and celebrate. <laughs> yep, there you go. I watched a commercial a long time ago and that's what I remember. So I, for the stickers on here, the stickers are, <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh, got to the very end and there were all these random stickers left, I'll be honest with you. And then we're like, let's use them up. So there's one, two, three, four, there's five stickers. And it's, um, if you're looking at the sticker sheet, it's, there's four of them that are right here. Okay, so not this one. That one is for a different card. So let's save that. But these four... And then there's a little little guy here off on his own. That flower right there. So these are the stickers that go with that one. 
Okay, so far so good, I hope. <clears throat> so let's flip the page. And we're going to go to this card, which looks like this. So you need one of your bases. Okay, so grab that little base. And now you're looking for the little stripies, the green and white stripey. Oh, it's going to be... <clears throat> You can't find it that way. Oh, look at that. There it is on the back side. <laughs> celebrate, <laughs> celebrate. <laughs> Go on and celebrate. All right. Hi, Shona Burns. You need your, hi, Mary Carls. You need your garden green label and one of your white labels. Okay, we said don't worry about ribbon at this time. Flip it over. You need one of your card mats here. And this is what it looks like. This is a really easy one, you guys. This card has got one little label on it or one little card mat on it. Okay, so grab, um, grab your stack here. <clears throat> and we are looking for the greenery. This one right here. So on the back side, it's got some stripes going on. And on this side, it has this. Now... You guys, if you don't like anything that we've put together, the, oh, that's not the right one. Hang on. It has, <laughs> she's, you're like, she's not right. It's this one. So if you would rather have the other side you, and come up with something else, you're welcome to change all these up however you want. These are just what we did. So that's this one. Um, what's not to love? Exactly, Carol. I agree. All right. So this one has a sticker. And the sticker is that other flower that was part of where I didn't take it. That flower is the one here. If you feel inclined to, you could already take it off and just set it on the corner right there. There's no reason why you couldn't. Um, <clears throat> it just gets stuck right to that card mat. All right, you guys, there's one left of this little size. And it is the one that has the blue, this one right here. So grab a card mat or base, all about the base. And then you're going to need to look through here. Oh, nope, that's not it. Flip it over. Well, there it is. Okay, <laughs> goals, you guys. On the back side, it has goals. The front side is the one you want. And then you're going to need the Misty Moonlight label. And then another one of these little white labels. These labels are from the Stitch So Sweetly dies and then these other two that are still left in your kit are from the hippo dies all right hi barbara moynan i hope you guys are good <laughs> um I, trust me this goes so smoothly after we have our piles made <clears throat> now we go into the piles that i gave you the extra card stock for and this base is crumb cake so let's find our crumb cake one here and this is our card and we're gonna grab the crumb cake mat all right, now you wanna grab one of your mats. So whenever I do a colored card base, I always put a white mat. So you guys have eight white mats for me. And then we need to go back to our little baby card pile pack and find the thing that says just a note and that green one. Okay, so there's our green one. <clears throat> it was the one I wanted to grab earlier. And now we're looking for just a note. And it must be right there okay so those are your two pieces you need for this one flip the page <clears throat> and we're going to look at a misty moonlight base that has <clears throat> this one right here it's our card so grab a misty moonlight base grab a white mat for your inside and we're gonna look for these two pieces <clears throat> I promise I'll be done <clears throat> in, in a little bit, guys. <laughs> Tyler gets so sick of me. He's like, get it out. I'm like, I'm trying. Okay, so you guys see it's not there. What does that mean? That means we need to go to our bigger four by six pile, right? Oh, man, that looks like the size, right? That Or the style. Well, let's flip it over. Oh, look at that. Who would have ever thought? 
We are family. Our flower is here, but what we want is there. So do you know what we need to do, guys? We need to cut it in half. This is why you need a little trimmer. Hi, Kathy Jackson from Iola, Wisconsin. Glad you're here. So grab your trimmer and put it at three inches. Six in half is three, right? Six divided by three. No, six divided by two is three. Boom. All right. So now you know you got to have the flower one and then you flip it over and that is now the bottom one. There's also a sticker that says we can get through anything together. <clears throat> mush, mush. Yes. Okay. We can. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of Carissa when I say that. And Bonnie, they always say mush, mush. Okay. So grab your sticker here. And also there is a little B. So let's see here which B it is. There is a B. There's these two that are the same. If you want to just take it off right away and put it right on there, you can. And just put it so it's stuck. All right. So there we go. That one's nice. Then we have another crumb cake. So this crumb cake is, so there's another crumb cake base here. And then grab your white mat. <clears throat> and now you have to get some more card mats. Oh, look at that. That was the one right on the top. So you need this purple delicious one. And then you need the foliage one that goes up and down. Hi, Sue Somerville. Okay, so there's that. And not that. Oh, look at that. There it is. Hi, Stacy Ray. So there's that. Now, there are some stickers here on this card. There is this thing that says together. So let's just grab it so that we have it. There's also this wood banner grain thing. It's really hard to see it, but I promise it's right here. We stuck it there. We were, we were so determined to use absolutely everything. <laughs> and so it ended up going right there. <laughs> okay, so that, that guy is on this one. And there are these two little banners here. There's a purple one right here. So if you want, grab that and put that there. And then there's this pink, or a uh, pink, purple foliage-ish one. Hi, Kathy King. All right, so that would make that card right there. Then let's flip our page and get the next thing. Misty Moonlight Base. So grab one of your bases. You need a white mat for your inside. Now let's see what we have for our little baby card mats left. This blue one should be easy. <clears throat> I believe it's right there. So that guy. And I'll show you the card here so you can follow me here. So there's the card. And then there's some wood grain. I think it's this guy right here. So if you look at it, that looks like it's the one. Hi, Deb Norman. So that goes here. Now, you also have, there's two of these little uh, labels. <clears throat> One's bigger than the other. The bigger one is for this one. So you can tell here that this is the bigger one. This is the smaller one. The bigger one is the one that goes there. All right, so that's all we need for this one. Let's flip this over. Hi, Kathy Groves. So we need, hi, Melanie Foy. We need a misty moonlight here. A white inside. Life is beautiful. Yes, it is. Here it is. That one goes. That's that guy. Now this background here. You can see that that's a mat. That it needs to be pretty big <clears throat> to fit our whole card base. So four by five and a quarter. And it would be one of these four by sixes. So not those. Oh man, there it is. That is our background. And so let's look at this card close up. You can see that. Now there's a dilemma that's too big, right? So what we did is we cut uh, three quarters of an inch off and we used it on the inside. <laughs> yes, that is correct. We did not throw that away. Hi, Laura Sullivan. So we need to get out a cutter and cut off. It needs to either go at five and a quarter or you need to cut off three quarters, however it works. <clears throat> but you need to cut that off and you can... Save that little strip for your inside like we did, or you can throw away. Whatever. It's up to you. So then there's a little gray doily. So grab one of your doilies. And then there's that sticker, too. 
So let's pull that off of here. So that sticker will go here on that card. And that should be it for this one. You guys, we're getting through our paper here. So this is a cinnamon cider base. <clears throat> so grab the cinnamon cider. You're gonna need to grab one of your white mats. Oh, this is one of my favorite pieces here. This flowers, gorgeous, simply gorgeous. So we need that flower and also this wood grain. So that wood grain has that on the back and that's gonna go on the bottom. And then this beautiful flower that says beautiful day. It is awesome. I love this, that, that one right there. So there's another B here though. So the B is the one facing that way. If you are inclined, you can take it off and put it right on your flower already so that it's done. There's also these little banners down here. One is a peach or pale papaya-ish one. And then one of them is this half purple, half misty moonlight. So let's grab those two <clears throat> and put them. Hi, Susan Pacheco. So you can put those right here. Um, I think that's it for that one. Oh, the doily. You guys, we need the cinnamon cider doily. So that's uh, there's a, quite a bit for that. And let's just show you what it looks like up close. It's so pretty. I like this one a lot. A lot, a lot. All right, then. Hi, Jeannie Parker. We need another cider base. Another white mat. And let's go back to here to find some more of these mats. We're getting down to the end, so it shouldn't be too hard to find them. Thanks for sharing, everybody that has said that they shared. I appreciate it. Oh, I love this one. This pattern is one of my favorites. It is so pretty. So that's our bottom piece. And then you should have, thank you. Look at the color difference, you guys. The PDF tutorial got brightened up a lot. So that thank you. And just to show you guys what the card looks like. Oh, there's a B there. Okay, so that's our other little B facing the other way. So you could take that guy off and then plant him right on the middle of the flower. All right, looks like we have one misty moonlight left. So that is this guy. You should have one white mat. <clears throat> and then let's see what we got here. Oh, our stripes are right there. And that's our checkered one. And you should have one label left. And then this is what the card looks like. So that's all the pieces that we need for that one. And I'll we'll stick that guy in there. So, the, so far, so good, you guys. We have eight plus five done, like laid out. Oh, wait, there's stickers here. It's really hard to see this, but you guys, we talked about this. We tried to use up all the stickers. You see that there's two little ends to the stickers right there coming out? <laughs> Gotta find your goals, guys. <laughs> Cut one of the goals and set that, oops, wrong way. Set that with it, because what we did is we cut off the word goals and we used those little ends coming up. <clears throat> I did not find a purpose for the word goals, so that, <laughs> goals are out the door, you guys. All right, now we start our big bases. So, we're gonna need these guys right here. So grab your first one. Kathy Groves, you kept commenting and nobody said anything. I don't know what you mean. I said hi to you early on. <laughs> I can see your comments, Kathy Groves. Yeah, right here, Kathy Groves. Can you see my comments? I kept commenting and no one said anything. And you were right here, hi, Chris. And at some point back here, um, you said hi to Brenda. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I said hi. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see your comments. All right, so then you guys here, we're back to the big bases. <clears throat> oh, so we need that, there's one last little dude here. Okay, so that's gonna go on this one. And you have here this green one. So this green one goes here. Oh, no problem, Kathy. Um, here's this one and then this one. Okay, our little ledge, I call it the, the ledge. This guy needs to go on here and then you should have a happy birthday. And that goes right here. Oh, and you see it, there's a B. Our last little buzzer needs to go and you might as well just stick it on right away as long as you're good with putting it where I have mine. Okay. So that's that one. Oh man, we're, we're making more space. I love it. Okay, 
you guys are starting to get a little pile. <laughs> I didn't ban you at all, Kathy Groves. I love you. <laughs> I only ban people who are mean and not nice to each other. <laughs> we have no room for negativity in this world here, in my world, <laughs> anyways. All right, you guys. But you guys are always so good. So nobody really, I, I've only had to do that to two people in like five years. So it's been good. So grab another card base, you guys, and we're going to do, oh my gosh, what a beautiful day for love. Okay, so the joke on, hi, Chris Dudarenki. The joke for, <laughs> I should have said, Kathy Groves, yes, I banned you. April Fools. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so the joke on, on uh, class on Wednesday was, this is mushy, right? But Julie Bierschbach said, it'd be perfect for a wedding card. And Chris was like, no, I'm going to give it to you and Tyler for your wedding card. I'm like, no, we don't have a date. We don't, we're not engaged. We're not planning anything. So I said, I challenge anybody to add ribbon to this card because you guys, okay, here's the last card. I forgot to show it to you. Um, and so what I said, I, I didn't know where to put ribbon on here. So I will show you how Carissa put ribbon on here. Uh, I'll show you. So I left ribbon off. Hi, Tabitha Lawson. Um, but I'll show you what Carissa did and then you can choose to add ribbon or not. But this one, you guys, was so simple. All right, so that goes here and let's flip it over. We got one more. <clears throat> nope, we actually have three more, but here's this one. This card, oh, our doily goes here. So got it. Hi, Vicki Sloan. Um, hi, Bonnie Lesperance. So we got our doily here. Now, here's another one, you guys. We got to look for this. Oh, man. Here it is. Do you see what we did? We, in fact, cut this one in half as well. So these are six inches wide divided by two equals three. So take it, cut it in half. And what you're going to do is use this wood grain on the bottom. And we use this flowery one on the side. Live simply. <clears throat> oh, man. You know what I did? We're gonna have to backtrack because, oh, ha ha. No, 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 we're not backtracking. Look at this. <laughs> we're like, goals. Who's gonna put goals on a card? So goals is covered up by live simply. So you're gonna need both of these for this one, okay? Oh, and that's garbage, you guys. That's your remnants of your bees. Okay, so this is so far so good. I think that's it for this one. And I feel like there's two more. Yep, good. So one more base here. Pull out. Then you need, oh, this one's really pretty too. Um, this one, super pretty. Okay, so that's the main thing here. We pull in a happy birthday. Pull in a banner that is peachy, purpley, and this one. And we're still okay. Um, there's three stickers left. I promise you we're using them. <clears throat> so that's it for this one. Let's look at the card really quick. That's what we got for our card close up. And we'll be coming back, you guys. We're gonna make these all together. So then the last one, grab your base. All about the base, no trouble. Look at this, how do we do this? We looked at this and we're like, well, that's cool, but that's pretty too. How do we get the best of both worlds? Four divided by two is two. So we cut this one in half, and then that's how that works. Now, this is my disclaimer, you guys. I try very hard to not forget anything ever, but I am human. I can promise you that. Uh, I do forget things. And this card got designed probably four weeks or three weeks ago. And this card needs something behind it to help support it. And this is what I did forget is I forgot what I would call a sacrificial lamb. The only purpose of this, what I'm going to show you is to help support it. <laughs> it doesn't get seen and I completely missed it. And it helps to put it together. So Everybody, I think, that got these kits from me has cardstock at home. It does not matter what color, what um, thickness, if it's white or a color, it doesn't matter. It's going to get covered up. It could even be copy paper for all I care. <laughs> 
um, I'm going to show you what we need to do with it. And we're going to do it right now, first and foremost, just to show you what needs to happen because it's really hard. I'm going to flip down. It, this ribbon attaches behind, but you have such, how are you going to put ribbon and keep this together? So this piece, I actually cut mine at five and a half. <laughs> I am a human, Kathy. <laughs> um, I cut it at five and a half because, you know, when you cut a sheet of paper in half, you get five. You could have cut it at six inches or like five and seven eighths, but honestly, it doesn't matter. Um, you just need some piece of paper. And what happens is you're going to put a little line. You're just going to put a line of glue here and attach one of the, like the bottom half. And you guys, it, you don't have to be exact. You're just getting it to attach. What's important now is when you attach the other side that these kind of butt up together and you have them lined up so that they're flush, okay? So that piece of white underneath, and I don't even think I wrote it in the instructions. I think I need to make myself a note. Oh, I did it. Cut the, nope, I didn't, haha. -ha. Um, Add, I'm going to add it to the PDF and send it back out to you guys. So add five and a half by, I did five and a half by two um, to this one right here. So I'm going to make sure to update that so you guys have it. Oh man, there's a little sticker I have left here. I don't know where that's for, but okay. So that's what happened here. The ribbon is going to cover this up now and our ribbon tails are going to go behind, but that's basically, it just holds them together. So that's here. And then you guys need one of the thankful for you's. And, oh, this little guy right here, <laughs> I remember where he goes. He goes on that one that has a shelf. I called it a shelf back when we were talking. This one. Yeah, <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. I'll show you. <laughs> that little sticker. You're like, you do have two by six. No, no, Cindy. The two by six refers, I, I looked at that myself. It says, oh, I did. Cut the four by six card mat in half and cut a mat of basic white two by six. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Somehow I figured it out. Okay. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay. So back here, there's this little, uh, this green thing that is under there. We used it up. I promise you that's where that goes. So that. If you go back to this one, put that little sticker there. And this thankful for you, I promise you, we used it. <clears throat> and that got put on in the inside. <laughs> we were like, well, what are we going to do? So we put it on the inside of this one. And then there's one little flower left. I'll have to keep my eyes open where he goes. I can't. Oh, right there. It goes on right there. So the very first card you guys, that we had. So try not to wreck your piles, but go back to your very first one. And that's where that little sticker goes. So, and then this one goes with our second one. So that goes with that. So <laughs> are you guys ready to make some cards? Hi, Penny Powell. All right. If you guys are ready, we're going to start backwards because my pile has the top one, which is the very last one. And I've got my pile here. <clears throat> exactly the opposite of how the PDF is. So I think we're going to work our ways, our way backwards, if that makes any sense. All right. So I'm going to set my stack over here and I'm going to make a little room over here. So you guys, very important. Do not disrupt this pile. This is now 18 cards ready to fly by the seat of your pants and get put together. So this is where the fun happens and the magic happens. I have heard from the last gingerbread and peppermint class that you guys who took the class benefited and enjoyed putting those pieces all together um, versus picking for them all one by one and potentially accidentally using the wrong one. At this point, you guys should not have any card. You've taken your half and put it over there, right? After you did that, you had stuff in front of you. From what you had left, you should not have any mats left. You shouldn't have any bases left. You shouldn't have any stickers left. We should have them all kind of in piles. So 18 cards, you guys. So look at the clock. We're at it for 50 minutes. It's not going to be a race because I'm not going to rush you guys, but I am going to um, go at my normal speed because <laughs> you guys are going to always catch the replay or like, you know, look at the PDF tutorial for, for help. So we're going to start backwards now and we're going to start with that really cool B card. 
and make sure you have your ribbon handy. And honestly, if you wanna wait and put all your embellishments on at the end, you can. Uh, there are white, gray, black, and vanilla. I don't think I used any of the vanilla or the black. I primarily used white and gray. Uh, hi, Mitzi Stanley. Uh, and yeah, so you guys, 18 cards with the ability to make 10 more with what you have left over in your um, kit that you guys set off to the side. And in addition, you could make eight more if you just added your own colored bases uh, that match to it. So, and as a reminder, you guys, I still have three of these classes available that I have my, I would have just to order the product and get them out to you. So if anybody was interested and in, now you're seeing what it's all about and want it, you just let me know. Okay. So, oh, hi, Kim Rosebaum. Yes. All right. So let's grab the first card here. <clears throat> and I'm trying to figure out, I wish I had one of those, um, like standy uppy things for this. Oh, my water bottle will work just fine. Oh yeah, very perfect. Okay, card base, folded in half. Let's put the card that I'm working on here so you guys can see it. I wish I got this class. I have so many of these boxes of these cards and never used them. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, well, if you want this class, I still have this class, Laura, <laughs> but you'd have to promise me you put it together, right? <laughs> All right, so grab your tear and tape, you guys. Um, we're going to put our ribbon behind. So when it comes to this, I would just hold my ribbon like this and just cut myself enough that I know it's going to be long and grab some tear and tape and we're going to make ourselves our little tear and tape sandwich. Get it all the way to the end here and... Peel off your tear and tape. And again, I always hold it in front of me. And we're covering up. So you see where that seam looked really weird there? Guess what? It gets covered up. So now what you can do is just flip. This class, Stacy Ray, was 50 porch pickup, 59 mailed. So it'd be 59 because I can mail it to you. All right. So your other package with your ink, paper, scissors was dropped off at the post office today already. Um, so I can't do it. Um, this class, you guys, was $59 mailed. It was basically $50 for porch pickup, and then to put it in a flat rate padded envelope was $9. Hi, Noreen. So it made it $59. All right. So that was easy, you guys. What we did was just put our ribbon, and I'm watching my comments. So if three people say to me, like, in the comments, uh, that, that's how I'm watching it. I'm not watching emails right now, guys. I'm not watching messages. So you'd have to kind of comment in here and I'll watch for it. If I say, if somebody says, yes, I want this class, I will make sure I save one for you. All right. So this is just getting adhered right onto here. Um, so Laura, um, if you text me tomorrow, they might be gone <laughs> because I, I just was saying that if they're if three people message me during class that they want them, I usually say, yep, that's where they go to. <laughs> so, all right, so there's that. And now you guys have the sticker. So here's the thing with stickers. They're sticky, <laughs> right? If you pop up stickers and you don't have the dimensional everywhere, it's um, it might kind of want to stick where the sticker part is. So you guys, if you take your clothing and kind of rub the sticker on there. It will help the sticker lose some of its stickiness, right? Oh, perfect, Laura, I have, I see that you want it. Okay, so you guys take that. Um, the other thing that works good for that too, oh, Brenda Loveless, I saw that you want one. So, um, you guys, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm writing your names here. Okay, and then, um, Laura Sullivan. Okay. So Stacy Ray, I'm waiting for you to confirm if you want one. I will wait till you say yes or no. And then I'll say if it's still available or not. Okay. So grab your mini, your dimensionals here. And I'm going to put two of them on here. So we're going to put one there and one there. Now, when you put this on the ribbon, it's going to be a little flippy floppy, right? Oh, Carol Engerbrick said she wanted one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm glad that you wrote that, Cindy. I did not catch that at all. See, I'm looking through here. So, okay, so then Carol Engelbrecht. Okay, then, all right. 
So, I got it, Carol. Okay, so, perfect. They're gone. Yay. So, what I do, you guys, when... Um, so, Stacey Ray, you're on the team, though. So, you'll also get this PDF tutorial. So, because you're on the team. You could always get the card packs and stuff yourself. And then you have the tutorial. What I like to do when I have ribbon like that, I will take and add... A little you guys are awesome thank you for helping me keep that straight <laughs> I did not even see Carol's um, baby powder also reduces the sticky is what Latokia said so what I'll do is I'll put a little um, glue dot right underneath to help secure the ribbon there because then when I go to put my dimensional backed sticker on here then the ribbons not gonna flippy flop all over the place so there's that okay perfect Stacy that is awesome and as soon as class is done tonight, you know, like I always do, I put this in our Be Happy Stampers team group, and then you have access to it. All right, so what you guys do, take the ribbon, and you're just going to make yourself a little knot like this. And grab your ribbon scissors, and you can trim the tail. And what we're going to do is add that over here with a glue dot. So let's do this. Put the glue dot right there. We're gonna add the little knot, our little knot twine thing here. If you would think that this is a little flippy floppy, <laughs> thanks Stacy. I'm glad this all worked out that you could get your own from yourself and still get the tutorial for being on the team. That's fabulous. I am gonna put one more right there. Oop, it's gonna stay right on my pokey tool and that'll help the ribbon stay nice and secure. Um, This one, so you guys, I think I, oh, I have plenty of gray ones in here. Let's see here. I got a gray, I got plenty of gray. <clears throat> so we're gonna keep that off and I've got some gray dots here. So we're gonna put here and then there's a small one right there. And then I put one more and put it right there. And then when you've got it so far, I always trim my tails at the very end like this. There. Perfect. <clears throat> so that's it, you guys. We got one card done. Woohoo. There it is. That was one of my favorite cards. I absolutely love that B paper. So, all right, so we're gonna make piles here. All right, so I'm gonna take that one out of the way. And we're going to grab the next one off the pile, which is right here. And this one looks like this right here. So I'll leave that sit. So grab your bone folder and burnish the edges. So you guys, when you get these memories and more card packs, they look so fun and exciting, but then you actually have to sit down and work with them and make something with them. And that's half the battle. So, um... And it's cutting stuff in half. Like that would be so pretty using this side too if you wanted to cut that down. So, okay, so this one's gonna just get glued right down onto our mat, or I should say onto our base, just like this. So the mats are four by six, and then the base is slightly bigger. I think it's like four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And what's awesome then, you guys, is that their envelopes then match. Isn't that so pretty? So that's so awesome that the stripes and everything matches. Okay, now how are we gonna do this banner thing? <laughs> this was a little bit of finagling to get this figured out. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna kinda set, what I, I wanna take this and just set my stickers here so that I got them off the backing Oh, Stacy, you've been stamping every day since the stamp a stat card class. That is phenomenal. I love that. That's awesome. You know, use what you have and make beautiful things. It's great to hear that. So the layering. This one I have first. And it's interesting how I did this, you guys. I promise you. I, I do things crazy. Um but you don't have to, to do it exactly like I do <laughs> if it's too much. I mean, ultimately, we're just making a little baby banner here. So, right? So, it, but if you look at this, I actually have, oh, let's see if I can figure out if I hold it. So, you can see that my banner, all that stuff is flat. 
and the banner is popped up. But what I really did do is I attached the things to the back of that banner with my dimensionals, okay? So let's so follow along. If you don't like the way I do this, you can always do it however you want to. But what I did is I lined up the dimensionals on the back of this. Basically, they kind of took over the whole back of the sticker. And that's okay. Because ultimately, I popped that up. And there's not enough room there. Uh, let's grab off the side here. Okay. All right. And now what I did is I attached... All right, Brenda Loveless, I'll watch for those. And I have you down for the hand pen now and for one of these. So that's perfect. All right. Oh, and that works out good because you signed up for on tour and I have a cutesy little gift for you. Okay. So this guy is first. He's on top of there and you slightly see some of the blue, right? So I did that one first. And then this one was hanging down. And this top edge is not higher than the label here. So I put this one here, trying to get them straight. And then this guy was tucked behind, um, something like that. And now because I have that dimensionals there, now the ribbon goes next. And so I'm just gonna cut myself what I think I might need. And uh, Carissa talked about this. I can't remember at what point <laughs> we did uh, either Tip Tuesday or one of the Technique Thursdays. She does ribbon where she folds it in half. Which card did she do? Oh, it might have been this one. So you guys, she did this for Technique Thursday this week. I think she talked about where she took the glue dot and put it in the center and then folded it over and it helps it stay together like that. All right, and then I'm gonna take another glue dot and put that on the front of it and then attach that back here. I'm not done, <laughs> we're gonna, so almost everything's all sticky, but behind the ribbon, it's not sticky. So there we've got this little guy, tail's coming out. And now I'm gonna just add one more glue dot right to the ribbon area. Okay, so then this can all get layered right up here. And again, those little banners are sticky. We've got, so they'll kind of stick down. And then you can grab your scissors here and trim your tails. Got one, I'm gonna do one that way and we're gonna do the other one this way. There, all right. And then I've got, this one has gray as well. So I've got two little guys left. <coughs> One's gonna go here, one's gonna go there, and then a big gray one. And that'll go right there. Okay, guys, got two done. <laughs> All right, so, wasn't so crazy. You know what though, I feel like this, so it's always up to you what you want to do, but because the sticker is basically on top of the ribbon and the ribbon is kind of floating here, if you like the way that looks, great. And if you want a little more stability behind that, you could always put a little glue dot behind there. Hi, Judy Bobo. So, all right, you guys, there's a second card. Done. Nice. And we're going to go to, um, let's go back. Oh, I didn't even look at the instructions. All right, so then we're going to go backwards. And we're going to do that blue one. So let's, I feel like I always have so much room, but I don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. So grab this one and we're going to fold our card base in half. <laughs> you like that little banner, don't you? I'll show it to you again. It is adorbsy. <laughs> Just, you know, the goal was to use everything up. <laughs> All right. So this is a vertical card. And what we have here are, so this goes here. Oh, you guys, we're doing the lamb technique on here. So we can glue this one down. And what we can do is put this here. And our doily can go on here as well. I might wait though, um, because I want to um, make sure I have it right. So take the live simply. And you're gonna put it, <laughs> we're getting rid of our goals, guys. I promise you, it covers them up pretty good. Um, 
I think I did trim off though. I think I did trim a hair off of each side here so that it fits better over our goals, like in between the florally part. Yep. So <laughs> trickery. That's what we did here. <laughs> so we got rid of our goals, you guys. We don't need goals around here tonight. We just need crafting time. All right. This one right here, you guys, we're going to do the lamb technique. So flip it over and we're going to put our tear and tape along the back right edge from one end to the other. And with your roll of ribbon, I take my loose end. because I am a righty, so I start like this and I never, so that tear and tape is there and I know it's there. All I'm doing is running this back and forth and you see how I'm looking at it. I'm never even looking at the back. I'm using my, my fingers to feel and make sure I don't go to, down too far because I don't want to go like this, right? And use up all this extra ribbon. So I'm giving myself the bare minimum back there. And so if you need to redo this, you just take it off, right? <laughs> if you don't like what you're doing, you practice until you are happy with it, all right? It's not permanent at this point. You're just catching that tear and tape. And the reason we call this the lamb technique, you guys, is because Kelly Lamb is my cousin, the one that does my technique Thursdays usually. She started doing this about two years ago and she just loves it and it looks so cool. And when you get to the end, you just make sure you end really nice like that. So that's kind of what it does. It gives you this cool ruffled ribbon edge. And when you get done, you take and you cut that <clears throat> and then you take your tear and tape and I tell you you have to take more tear and tape and put it over the top because if you don't this will want to come undone and so you don't want it coming undone and so just put that tear and tape right over the top and that will definitely secure it and um, the question is well would you rip this off or not and let's look to see what I did on my sample card. I did. I took it off and connected it. So if we look at this, <clears throat> this ribbon adds a little bit of depth on the end. And so it ends up being about the same height as a dimensional. So by taking that backing off, you're actually helping it secure itself to the paper that we're going to put it on. So let's grab a bunch of dimensionals and prep the back of this. And I'm going to use six of them. Thanks for sharing, Alice. I appreciate it. All right. I think I got them all. So now, this is why I didn't put the doily on yet. Because I was afraid I was going to put it too high or too low. So what I wanted to do was just layer this so that my corner reaches right about there. And then now I've got that attached here, but I'm gonna put glue here to help hold that down. And then that is what goes on to here. And I kind of, you know, figure out where your stripes and your lines are to see where you like it. If you wanna bring it down a little lower, <clears throat> just like that looks good to me. Hi, Cindy Kaiser. <laughs> All right, so we have our Live Simply. And this is another one that I don't have baby powder out here, guys. <laughs> um, and I do have an embossing buddy over yonder, but I'd have to get up and I should probably do that. But we're just going to do this a couple times. And it helps make it so it's less sticky. And then I am just going to put three of them across here. Well, not that little guy. Thanks for sharing, Laura Sullivan. All right. And then this <clears throat> is going to go near the bottom corner like that and gray again thanks for sharing wendy <laughs> you guys it's all coming through that you guys are sharing i appreciate it so much and so we've got oh we got a straggler he's off his little spot so we're gonna grab him and put him here grab a big one, and then one more small one put it right there <clears throat> I guess that's what you call butter fingers. <laughs> but it's a good thing I don't have butter on my fingers where we have greasy cards. So that's it, you guys. We're just 
simple. Live is simple, isn't it? Simply. You guys know what I am not doing? I, I am not stamping the insides. For some reason, I felt like, let's get the cards made. And then it is up to your discretion how you will want to stamp your insides or not, okay? <clears throat> so that guy goes there. What's next? So we're going to grab this one. Whoa, this is an easy one. You guys are going to be so like, whoa. <laughs> it's too simple. I had a hard time with this because it's only got two layers. <laughs> All right. So uh, take your card base, fold it in half, burnish it. And then this is where, um, if you so choose to want to use ribbon because you don't want it to say for love, you just want to say, what a beautiful day. This is what Chris did. She took and she put her ribbon right here <clears throat> and just tucked her tails behind. And then she added some more embellishments around it. And so you could definitely um, make that happen if you want to get rid of your word for love. And <sighs> what should I do? Hi, Julie Bierschbach. Um, should I get rid of it or not? No, you know what? Let's keep it. <laughs> we'll, we'll just go with it because that's what we have in the tutorial. So, <laughs> Julie, you're watching just as I'm trying to decide if we want to cover up the for love. It was between you and, and Carissa what we were trying to figure out. Okay, so that goes here. And let's pull our card out just so you can see it. So, uh, this is where I started throwing in some white dots here, guys. Oh, Louise Power, no problem. You can always catch the replay from the beginning when we're done. So that's always cool. All right, so we're just gonna throw in some white ones in here with the gray. And <laughs> it seems too easy, but honestly, that's what these card packs are for, is for you to pull out some awesome cards. Like I would always, <laughs> when I gotta do something on the fly, and um, it is a great wedding card. When I need to do something on the fly and I don't have a lot of time, I always refer to it as I got to pull it on my butt <laughs> because like I'm just making it happen as like, because I, that's how I told my mom last night. She's like, I like, I got to do 12 swap cards. I've got to make the on tour gifts. I've got to make eight more kits. And I'm like, I'm just going to pull it out of my butt. I'm just going to make it happen. <laughs> I didn't really pull it out of my butt, you guys. I promise you, I did not. It doesn't work that way, really. <laughs> so, all right. So our last big in. Okay, so here's our card. As I mentioned, we're moving backwards. <clears throat> this card right here is the last of our stripy blue misty moonlights. And we have here, we cannot put our layer down yet because we have ribbon. So there is this mat. There's this mat. This one. And then remember that peeks out. So... <clears throat> first things first, what I want to do is build my little ledge. And so how I would do that is I'm going to put a little tear and tape and prep a little tear and tape back here on that bottom edge to get my sticker to stick to it. Okay, so a little tear and tape on the bottom, right? So it's really close to the edge. And we got rid of, <laughs> I shouldn't say we got rid of the sticker because it's nice. It says our happy life, but that's like like these are intended for like more memory keeping, right? So how do you convert the stuff into card making, right? So you get rid of it, like the stuff that you don't want to see. <laughs> I think what I want to do is I don't want to put it down because it's going to stick. Yes, you could add so many floral. You definitely, Felina, I agree with you. You could um, add flowers to that love card. So what I'm doing is I'm attaching this little bannery thing back here. And you know what I actually did? Just so it was not at an angle, I cut that little bannery part off and threw it away. And then this now is nice and flush. And then this little, I call it's like a little ledge to me. And <clears throat> you could put just a tad more tear and tape right through them. Oh, it's a sticker. Ha ha. Never mind. Don't do that. I guess what I was just trying to do is put a little glue there, but there was already glue there. So I'm attaching this ledge now. All right, so that's what we've got going on. And then all of that is popped up. So I'm going to throw a bunch of dimensionals on the back of this. And then we're going to figure out where our ribbon needs to go on this one. 
Okay, so that's ready. And I'm going to leave that sticky for it to go on the ribbon. So it'll attach to the ribbon. I feel like there's one more right there. <clears throat> now the ribbon, thanks Cindy. So this ribbon, I tried to have this little divot thing that's up kind of match the divot here. So with keeping that in mind, we're gonna put a little tear and tape to make our little sandwich for our ribbon. And that's gonna go right about here and here. What you could do is cut off a little slip of ribbon. You're gonna need just about a half inch longer on each side. And then from the front, looking at it, I've got just a little bit. I'm trying to show you guys is I have just that little divot thing is barely hanging out. Okay, so it just, so there's this creamier line right there. I'm just barely covering that up. Okay, that's where that ribbon goes. And then you can cover your ribbon up with some more tear and tape. So you guys, we've just done five cards in like, I don't know if it was 25 minutes. So that was good, right? So, and what's awesome is, you know, I'm not stamping the insides, right? But at some point, go back and stamp your insides. These card mats have all of the decoration on them. They're just so pretty. And the stickers have sentiments on them. So this one will go on here like that. Boom. Now this was prepped and ready to go. And that's going to reside slightly over the ribbon. And I've got it so that little bit's hanging out the top. Oh, was it straight? Nope. It's a little crooked, so we can straighten that out. There, that's better. And now the happy birthday is a sticker, but I did choose to pop it up. So we're going to do that clothing thing. Jeans work really good. That helps to loosen up some of that stick. And then I'll use three of them. If you have your embossing buddy from back in the day, the buddy works even better. What size are they? Judy, what is? what are you asking about what size? Help me out here. I don't know what you're referring to the size. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, the card itself, um, the mats here are four by six. And so the cards make... Um, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So here I've got white. So we'll put a white one here and there and everywhere. We'll put one little dude right over there. So the white stand out really good on the green. And we had already put, oh, the cards. Okay, so four and a quarter by six and a quarter because these mats are four by six, okay? All right, so again, stamp what you want um, on the inside when the time comes. Um, it might make sense to just do all your insides at the end, like what I'm going to do. <clears throat> okay, you're very welcome, Judy. Oh, man, um, I've lost track of piles, but we're going to put one there and one over here. And we're going to now move on to our A2 cards. So these are where I threw in the extra mats and the bases for these. And we're going to have to do some stamping here on these. So let's move this here. And you guys, my Misty Moonlight ink pad got love on Wednesday night. So I have not re-inked it, and I want to show you, in case you've never done this before and you haven't seen my Tip Tuesday on it, how to re-ink. And this is how I do it. Not saying it's the right or the wrong way, but this is what I do. I take my re-inker, and I run the ink all over the place. And then I take my handy-dandy little metal spoon and I just run it back and forth. So <laughs> I was using this ink pad earlier today. I'm like, oh my gosh, it needs help. It really needs some ink added to it. And uh, the drier the ink pad, the more ink you can add to it. But I'm just gonna do one more little line all over everything here. <clears throat> you don't wanna do too much because it does get goopy if you do add too much. But the reason I'm taking a spoon is I'm spreading the ink around so that you don't have lines when you go to ink. So. All right, you guys, that's what re-inking an ink pad is all about. So I'm going to get rid of my spoon. <clears throat> and so 
So I just take that and I rinse it out because it's water-based, it, it cleans right off. But it, that is the spoon I keep right here in my jar for when I need to re-ink. So we have here our next set of materials, <laughs> the goals. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Take your card base, fold it in half and burnish it. And we can, let's do our stamping since I have the ink pad open. <clears throat> so this one is a vertical. And so it says here, you are a real blessing to me. And we're gonna grab a little scratch paper because you guys know I like to practice it before I actually do it. So to make sure I understand what I'm working with. So I pretend that it's straight on that piece of paper and it's not, <laughs> it goes that way. <clears throat> so we're gonna go back and bring it clockwise a hair. And when I did that, it made it straight. So now I know when I go to stamp on here, I need to bring it clockwise a hair. <clears throat> and it was good. All right, so that's what we've got for this one. And I'm just gonna set that there for now. And we can get glue happy. So let's put, so that one's popped up and this one's flat. So this one gets liquid glue. So let's go ahead and grab that. And that goes at the bottom. And then for this label, what I did is I took my, hi Ethel King, I took my tear and tape. <clears throat> now, if you don't like the way that ribbon looks and you want to do something different, you are more than welcome to. I was trying to use ribbon in all different types of ways in this class so that you had an abundance of ways that you would learn how to do ribbon. <laughs> so I'm going to take this and it's kind of coming out the bottom like this. And so instead of going across it and back and forth, I like to save ribbon, so I'm going to actually take it and loop it like that. And then I'm gonna bring it across and loop it. And then bring the tail out this way. Okay, so that's kind of what I did. It makes it look like a bow, but I only crossed it once in the back versus crossing it twice. And I just saved myself maybe three quarters of an inch. <laughs> um, so Barbara, the stamp, oh, and then I lost it, hang on. The stamp set that I used for this one is called, um, where did I set it? Oh, I put it behind me. <clears throat> so I pulled in Blessings of Home and then Honey Bee Home for some bees, but this is the primary one that I did use. And it was basically for sentiments. All right, so let's get this guy, and we're gonna just, I'm gonna trim it longer than it needs to be just by a hair. So it kind of makes it look like I made a bow and put it behind there, but I really didn't. So I need to get that, something like that. So I am going to gra grab some tear and tape and help hold that down in the back. So this needs to come back out like that. All right. And I'm gonna make sure it stays exactly where I want it by adding that. And in this case, I'm not going to tear off that backing. I'm just going to add dimensionals on my label throughout the middle here. So that's pretty much ready to go. And then this guy right here, I did pop that up with dimensionals as well. <laughs> covering up our home, covering up our goals. <laughs> Just making pretty cards. That's what we want to do. And that is going to get put down right in the center of our card. Don't worry about our goals yet. We're going to sneak them in there. Okay, so then this is going right about here. And then for our goals, I really did uh, cut it. <laughs> if you want to use the word goals somewhere else, or try to like use that little blue edge somewhere. Like, you know what I mean? If you wanna have that blue edge coming out somewhere, go for it. But I didn't feel like using it. So all I did was take these little guys and kind of plant them on the sides here to kind of cover up the seam like that. Okay, so that's what we use those edges for. 
And then now this is ready to put down on the middle area like that. And then if you have your ribbon scissors, you could trim your tails without hitting the little bunny ears. So there's one and then two. Okay, all right, so um, there you go. That's that one. Um, I am gonna throw on some gray dots here. So we've got three. Now, you guys have a whole pack of them. <clears throat> if you're gonna make the rest of your cards into, you know, rest of your cards up, you might wait to use up a lot of your dots and see how you want to split them up, but there are a lot of them. All right, so we've got that one done, and we'll keep cruising, you guys. Oh, our insides, sorry. So we talked about this, <clears throat> the insides. I'm going to go back later on and do insides. Uh, they're like this could go on the bottom corner. If you have other floral stamps, they could go in. You could put your bees in. So I am not, we're working on focusing on getting the 18 cards put together and we always can catch the insides later. Um, catching up, what is that bottom piece of paper? Um, the, do you mean the, this piece or do you mean this piece, Jamie? I'm not sure if you're referring to which piece you're asking. What is that bottom piece of paper? This? Maybe that? I'm, I'm, you got to help me out. I'm not quite following what you're asking. All right. So we're going to go backwards in our PDF and work on that beautiful card next. On the front. What is that back piece of paper? That back piece of paper... Um, it, this one's from the card pack and that one's from the card pack. They're both um, two pieces from the they're three by four card packs. They're from the mat. They're mats from the card pack. Good call. Okay, I hope that answers that. Uh, so let's grab our next one here. And take your card base, fold it in half and burnish it. How big is the strip paper on that card? How big is the strip paper? Jeannie Parker, what do you mean by strip paper? <laughs> Not sure why I can't find that mat. I promise you it's in there. All of these card mats were in there. And Jeannie, I don't know what you mean by the strip paper on this. Do you mean this paper or do you mean this paper? Um... Not quite sure. They're a preset size, you guys. These card mats came three by four. So um, they were already made for you. I did make these mats. The mats here um, are four by five and a quarter. All right. So um, it's there, Jamie. <laughs> it should be there. And if it's not, go to your other pack. Maybe you put it in the other one. Stripe. Jeannie, do you mean stripe? <laughs> okay. So on this one, you guys, we're going to put our ribbon on here first so take and cut yourself just enough what you need and we're going to adhere that to the back side here hi Lillian Beasley of here the blue and white mat so Jeannie how big is the stripe paper this is four inches by three inches okay three by four <clears throat> that's what all of these sizes are they're all three by four <laughs> you're missing the E genie, so I wasn't sure if you were meaning strip or stripe. <laughs> All right, so you're going to take your ribbon here, and we're going to line this up um, so that it's right at that top edge, and flip your tail over here. Um, we're not to that card yet, so I don't know about that three-quarter inch stripe part, maybe. Um, so then, <laughs> happy Friday to you too, Lynn Beasley. Happy. Happy Fool's Day. Do they call it Happy Fool's Day? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we're just securing our ribbon behind here. And then I am going to, you know what? I just barely hit the end there. So um, I am going to redo this. 
just slightly because I did not give myself enough on that side. I gotta give myself a little bit more because that little edge was just hanging there. You bet, Jeannie, I hope that answered your question. Okay, then we're gonna try this again and put that right back. Okay, there, I'm happier. I needed a little bit more hanging over the edge there. All right, then this gets glued down onto the bottom edge of our cinnamon cider mat down here. Now with that tear tape, that's gonna really help seal the deal with that. <clears throat> and then this one, you guys, again, I'm not gonna do my mats right now. I think you guys are capable of stamping focal images and sentiments on there however you like. Then I'm gonna put a couple, or I should say a few dimensionals back here on this one. All right, glad it helped. And <laughs> you guys see I got three there? I have no idea why I got three, but I put three on the top. <laughs> oh, for good measure, let's just put one more right there. And then this is going to get centered kind of like left to right and near the top. And I threw gray ones on this one as well. The gray seemed to match. If they would have put some misty moonlight ones, um, that would have been so cool. There you guys go. That was an easy peasy lemon squeezy card. Okay, don't forget to do your inside later. Next card is the other cider. Ooh, we get to do the lambs technique again. So you guys are gonna get to practice that today <laughs> or during this class. All right, so there's that card. It's very similar to the other card layout that we had. All right, so take your paper, burnish it. I am going to save my mat for later. Then this one, we can glue this down. I know, we gotta cover up a bee, you guys. Sad day here. All right, then this goes at the bottom. And if you recall, we just did the lamb technique. This one, though, is on the left hand. You can see we already put our bee there, which is good. So we're gonna put a line of tear and tape along here. Now, don't worry when you use tear and tape if you have it too long. Instead of cutting it off and throwing it away, all I generally do is just roll it right back onto it. Okay, grab your ribbon, and I take my loose end and put it right at the bottom. And remember what we talked about. I never look at the back. Now, if you need to when you first start out, it's, I use... I could do this basically blindfolded, except for my Humpty Humps might not be even. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm Marsha Coolbert. I'm basically feeling my fingers in the back, catching that tape, and then bringing it up. I can't really do this in my sleep. My hump. I should. <laughs> I should show you guys what it would look like if I had my eyes shut while I was doing this. <laughs> it would be a little entertaining. Um, when you get to the end here, just make sure you end with the ribbon nice and flush on the edge. Okay, so that's what you got there. And then you take your scissors and trim that. And then put a little more tear and tape right over that so that will not come undone later in life. I'll be honest, when Kelly did this for, there was a bases pump, paper pumpkin last year, like bases loaded or bases something. And she did this on one of her um, alternatives. And when I got home from, I think it was while I was in, um, Stella is on vacation right now, yes. We can go back and Stella everything as at, at the end, definitely. We don't have to do it card by card by card. Um, I My focus with you guys tonight was to just make sure we get all 18 of these cards made in a reasonable amount of time. Um, so Kelly, when I got back from Hawaii, the ribbon had come, in, <laughs> had come, come undone. And so it was a, a, a thing that we learned that you have to follow back up with putting tear and tape over the top to help it secure it so it doesn't come out. <clears throat> so these little labels or the, um, the banners also need to get put on here. So I'm just gonna, so you see how long this is? <laughs> if you guys are in so inclined, you could technically like use this for something else somewhere down the road, but I'm not gonna worry about it. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a glue dot on the top of this. 
oh, it didn't even stick. I'm gonna put a glue dot right at the top of this to prep it. I'm gonna set that there. And then I'm gonna put a glue dot near the top there. <clears throat> so what I did is put glue dots at the top. Get out of here, little guy. And this one goes on first. And I have it just so you can see the blue. Okay. And then this guy goes behind it, offset a little bit longer, with a little more wiggle room to work with. And then what I'm gonna do is throw another dimensional actually behind that like that. And that should help this stay together. And now we didn't forget about a doily, but I always like to eyeball where my doily is gonna go. And I'm gonna say something like that. And then we'll kinda see how it works on here actually really good okay cool so you could have always taken this off and rearranged it if you needed to like that like let's say you wanted it to go in further I think it was fine but I was just showing you that if you didn't if you weren't happy with it you could always bring it and move it okay so then I am going to put glue here though if I put more dimensionals then it'll be kind of wonky all right so this guy goes on here like that then so you see how we left our banners here kind of hanging up. Hi, D Serena. All right. Uh, <laughs> D, you might just want to follow along and watch at this point versus trying to pull all your stuff out. Um, I did at the beginning go through everything of what makes sense to um, <laughs> work on it. So at this point, it might work just to help, you know, to watch how the cards are made to get put together. Um, all right. So this one's next. Okay, so let's, for, uh, still going backwards here. That's not next, actually. I put this one in the wrong spot. So we are going to do Life is Beautiful. And right underneath here. Perfect, D. That sounds like a good plan. All right. We've got our mat here. You guys know the drill here. Yeah, the the. the, the the doilies are very dainty. And what's super cool about these is they're white on one side. And so you could color them with a, a sponge or a blending brush and make them any color you want them to be. So we need to add ribbon to this one. And we need to do that before we put our little layer down. I'm going to move my mat out of the way, you guys. Well, actually, you know what? Just so you know, this is the one that has that three quarter inch strip. So just I'm gonna trust that in the future, I'm going to stamp it really good because I'm gonna practice first. So so I don't lose this strip or forget what it's all about. I am gonna glue it on the bottom here so that it is um, taken care of right away. Uh, if you cut it a little too long compared to the white mat, just take your scissors and trim it and you're good to go. And I'm gonna just tuck that away in here. So <clears throat> let's just put some dimensionals back here. There's no reason why we can't just prep that and have it ready to go. And then we're gonna work on figuring out where our ribbon goes. So the ribbon is, if we're gonna measure, let's see where the ruler is. Oh, right there. It's about five eighths. Okay, so in case you guys wanna know, <laughs> my OCD wants you to rip that tail off your glue dots. <laughs> All right, let's just make sure there's none on there. You guys, I always do this. Before I throw it away, I feel it to make sure there aren't more. <laughs> so it's gone, okay? <laughs> we can take care of tails very easily around here. All right, so grab your tear and tape. And we're going to put this near the bottom edge, right? So that we're prepped here. Oh, D, you got your phone holder and your light ring for your videos today. Awesome. Oh, you're so lucky you have your 12-year-old and 9-year-old, um, your niece and nephew there to help you. That is fantastic. You know, my mom always said that, and she teases me. She's like, I only had, no, she doesn't say I only had. She said, I had kids so that they could teach me technology later in life. <laughs> uh, how do you always keep track of your scissors? Because I have, that one says ribbon, and, and this one says glue. I use a silver Sharpie, and then this one says paper. So I look at them. You guys can't see my eyeballs, 
when I'm looking down like this and we're working, but I do look at them before I use them every single time. So you guys, this is about where I have this. It looks like that was about right. Okay, something like that. And <laughs> good question, Barbara. It make I probably make it look so um, easy like with the scissors, but I promise you if it's up, oh, now it says it on both sides. Look at that. I have it on both sides. So whichever side is up, it's still, you still see it. All right, <laughs> Penny, I'm so happy that we could help you out with your OCD. I bet you still even want more. Um, so we'll do just a little bit more. There you go. That makes you happy. All right, so liquid glue. Hi, Julie Ledbetter. All right, so we're gonna put this down. And then this is going to go right here. Something like so. <clears throat> All right, we said we have our dimensionals on this little guy over here and what I did for this doily versus putting it on here I didn't want it to stick out too far I basically have it from edge to edge here and I just put a little bit of liquid glue in the middle and we're going to kind of just square it off here like right along the bottom ledge here I'm not hitting the edge of the card but I'm close to it I put ribbon on my ribbon scissors um, for cutting ribbon. Yeah, so uh, Carol, that is a good idea. I meant to do that. So this is what, so this is an awesome idea. If you take any sort of ribbon and just wrap it around your ribbon scissors, then that's a visual cue to you that you have your ribbon scissors. I wanna do it with a very bright ribbon is what I'm thinking. I've been meaning to do that. All right, so then this guy can have all of its backs taken off. And then that is going to go up here. Kind of got the same on the left and the top. And I'm looking at where my ribbon is coming out right here because I want to put my bow right there. Like that. Now this sticker, <laughs> had to use it up, you guys. If you do not like where it is, you do not have to put it there, I promise. No one will know. <laughs> It'll be okay. So I just thought, okay, it's a good place to put it. Let's put it right here. I'm kind of like rounding it off with the doily, looking at that. Bow maker time, you guys. It's <laughs> How many cards have we have made already and not used um, a bow maker? Surprise, you are not trimming down the doily before adhering the base and using on another card. Yeah, Linda Grady, that is surprising. You could definitely take a chunk out of there, but I will tell you, these doily, <laughs> not It'd be like, oh yeah, I can afford anything. But the doilies are in the catalog. You get 30 of them for $5. I thought that they had a pricing issue or an error because how do you get 30 of anything for $5 <clears throat> with doilies and paper products, right? So um, there is a paper with that design. Yes, there sure is. So um, yeah, you could definitely, if you wanted to, you could cut out sections of your doilies and use those somewhere else like pe peeking out, definitely do that. Um, hi, Christy Warren. I'm glad you popped in for a few minutes. All right, so there's our bow. We're going to grab, grab a glue dot, and I'm going to stick it to the back side of my bow, and that's going to kind of be where the doily meets the ribbon, and <clears throat> you can see that I'm not so crazy about what is happening with that tail. <laughs> so we're going to put a glue dot where I think I want my tail, and I don't think I'm going to put a glue dot under that one because he seems like he's very well behaved. So sometimes what I'll even do is put glue dots behind my bunny ears if they're not hanging out how they should be. So then we're going to take and trim that one and that one. Okay, we got to keep the little bow on, guys. All right. <clears throat> I took the mini glue dots out of sight for you, Penny. <laughs> put them in their home. All right, we have gray again. So I put a gray one, big, a small one <clears throat> there. And then there's one more little baby gray right there. Guys, embellishments are sometimes hard for people. <laughs> Where do you put them, right? <laughs> so, whew, I think we're almost halfway through. Okay, don't forget, inside later. All right, so... 
Noise, noise, noise. All right, next one, going backwards. I think it's time to take a drink of water, though. Hang on. All right, this one is so cool. The label is so big because the happy birthday, or the have a perfect birthday needed a fit, and it's hard to see it, but there's decoration on there. <clears throat> and this is the perfect card to use this big background stamp on. So that's from the stamps that, that all the sentiments are coming from. So grab the next card on your pile here. And let's, I, you guys, if you notice me, I always fold it in half and burnish it. That's like almost the first thing I always do. <clears throat> I'm going to put my inside on the inside so that it's there. And let's go ahead. This one just gets glued right to the left hand side and put it right there oh you guys we have to do the lamb technique again too oh man you you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it after this class i'm just looking for my tear and tape there it is i looked three times everywhere and <laughs> isn't that how it goes you finally find it right where you left it okay so that it's right there. One more time here. I think this might be the last card with it. I'm not for certain though, but grab your end here and you're just looping it, weaving it, however you want to call it, back and forth. I think it's time for an ice cream cone. <laughs> oh, Jeannie, an ice cream cone sounds good. Speaking of ice cream cones, uh, Chris and I made an ice cream cone card yesterday. Doesn't that make you like say, mm, like strawberry and orange and razzleberry, like sherbet? That's what I think of when I see this one. That one makes me hungry too. So here's our little finishing off of our lamb technique. So, you guys, again, we call it the lamb technique because Kelly's last name is Lamb. <laughs> We started to call something the Bertram technique because I do it a lot and I'm like, that sounds not so good. But the lamb technique sounds fun. <laughs> All right, so trim that off. Grab some more tear and tape. It just adds this really cool ruffled edge. It's so awesome. And the same thing happens with this one too. If you grip it too long, you just have to peel it right back and it's good. All right, dimensionals. You guys, I'm getting to the end of another sheet. So this is super cool. So when this happens, we start cutting our pieces down because we still use all of them. So glue scissors. Make sure you use that for cutting your dimensionals down. And this can all get taken off. All right, Jeannie, love you long time. We'll see you later. All right, this now goes horizontally on this piece, something like that. And now we get to do this part. So grab your, let's see here. Misty Moonlight is what I've got for this sentiment. This have a perfect birthday. <laughs> oh man, I butchered mine. It like always gave me a halo. So I completely chopped it all apart. Uh, not apart, but I chopped it. Hi Rose, uh, I, I chopped it down. And so it's not really good for stamping straight. So let's just see what happens. Oh, that is straight. All right, we're going for it. Let's see what happens on here. So I'm going to stamp that right in the middle if I can. <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> I know I can. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, that's good. <clears throat> so that's that. Now, the smoky slate is for the flower. Hi, Vicki Bogle. All right, so this is a pretty big stamp. And Smoky Slate is a pretty dark, it's not dark, but the first strength is dark. So what I do for this is I ink it up good and I'm going to practice here. And you know what? I'm going to stamp the back just to see what's going on. It's really light. So enough people used my ink pad the other night that first strength is going to be perfect. Um, second strength would have been too light. I actually had my ink pad for upstairs in my craft room where I work and design. I did that at second strength because my smoky slate upstairs is pretty dark. So, oh, you, you know, I'm not going to re-ink it. I want this to be just like a subtle, subtle background. 
And so we're going to, we're going to go like, I want this like that, I think. Something like this. Give it a second to transfer. Oh, I love it. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. Okay. You're just, it's making the white space go away. Um, and I thought about it on one of these other cards back yonder here. Uh, there was one that has a label. I thought about it, but I did it too late. This one right here, that would have looked super cool having that flower in the background too. Um, thought of it after the fact. So we can't do it now because there's no way we could pull that one off. Okay. So this gets popped up with some more dimensionals. And I'm see, I use the back of things to kind of practice to see what, what's going to happen. And take off your backs. And then that goes on this one. Now, if you don't have that exact flower stamp, you guys, it's okay. Find something else that will create a really cool background. All right, this one has a combination of the white and um, what S? Latokia, what are you asking? I'm not sure. Um, what stamp? Oh, that stamp is from the set that I have listed in the PDF tutorial. This is the stamp, Blessings of Home. And that is where all the words are that we're using for this class. I have a perfect birthday came from there as well. I kept it in the family. I hope that answers your question. Please confirm that, that you got that. Um, oh, what is the name of it? It's called Blessings of Home. All right, so we're going to do a little white guy here. And we got our gray guys up there. I like this one, you guys. That background stamp just makes it so cool. That flower back there. I love it. Okay. Remember, we're going to do our insides later. Hi, Susie Snow. This guy goes here. And we're going to go on to that one. So we've got the sample here. Grab This one's got lots of bits and parts again. So <clears throat> fold it. Burnish it. We're going to save our insides for later. And this gets glued flat on the left-hand side. Make sure your flowers are facing the right way. Don't put them upside down, right? And then that goes over here. I had to use the ribbon in a different manner this time. Just did a long strip. But how do you do that? <laughs> Tear and tape. Sorry, I'm tuning in from a car, a passenger. Oh, good, Latoki. I'm glad you're, <laughs> you're a passenger. Yeah, it's definitely from this Blessings of Home stamp set. So what I'm going to do is run the tear and tape. I'm going to run it all the way because it's going to be basically holding my ribbon down. And I might end up getting a little bit more, but I'm just going to guess. It needs to go like right here to there. Peel it off, and I'm going to just do another little strip over here just to make sure I catch the end. And then grab your ribbon. You're gonna just set your ribbon down on there. It should catch the tear and tape. And we're gonna leave it like, I'm just gonna cut this so it's not hanging on over here. And then, banners again, you guys. <laughs> What I'm going to do on this one is instead of putting glue dots, I'm going to just run a little more. You guys, if you don't have tear and tape at this point <laughs> for this class, you see how much I'm using this tear and tape. It's crazy. All right. I might go just a hair further because I'm really close, a little close to the edge. So I'm going to just put a little bit more right there. Okay. So the one banner that's underneath is this one. Okay, so this, and you can see just a little of that moonlight coming through. Oh man, stick on there, little dude. And actually, I'm gonna do that first because I'm gonna end up putting a dimensional back there, but I'm gonna try to take some of that stick away. Okay, so there, don't stick to my finger. Okay, and then this one. And this goes back here. I'm going to try to see the little tail come out that side. That's why I put the 
tearing tape back there because I was afraid I'd see the glue dot. You guys, we, we're just using up the banners, right? Because you got these sticker banners. You don't want to throw them away. So I am going to, you know what we're going to do just to make this super secure? We're going to put the dimensional right over the seam there. Now it's not going anywhere. Guys, we might finish this sheet tonight. Okay, perfect. And then let's grab a couple of these. Hi, Cheryl Benz. And that's going to go right there. One stuck to my finger. Oh, there's one left thing on here. One thing left, one left thing. Tyler says I talk like Yoda sometimes. This little guy is back here. So I did notice that there's purple on the bottom. I think I cut it off. I must have cut it off because it's a little shorter. You can leave it or you can cut it off. But ultimately what happens is that is kind of hanging out the side here. And now if you find a different thing or a different purpose for this piece, you can do it. We were just trying to incorporate it somewhere in here. Now that's going to stick flat um, when the time comes. And so let's get the rest of this off of here. And then we'll get that right on our card front. All right, got them off. So then this is going to go on here. And so this bottom ledge or edge here just kind of nestles on top of the ribbon. <clears throat> Save a little room on the right to put a gem. And I'm going to make sure that that little guy gets straightened out before he gets put down. There you go. <laughs> Squish it good. All right, together is the perfect place to be. All right, you guys. Have you ever done so much trying to de-sticker something ever? <laughs> oh, it's a good thing people don't look behind things, right? Put that there, and then this one's still right. Fill it up, good. Okay, so then this is just gonna go on the top left-hand side right here. Now comes the time for the ribbon. <laughs> um, I'm gonna trim this. I was afraid. I always one of the last things I do is trim my ribbon tails, just because you don't want to get them fraying accidentally, unless you want them to fray. But this way, my card was done. I could kind of guess where I need to cut that. And then we've got some white ones. So we got a little guy over here. It's hard to see this one, but there is one over on the side here. And then I need to see if there's more in here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Lots here. <laughs> Got a lot. We're going to take the big guy and put it over here. All right. I didn't know how I felt about, like, the denim ribbon with the blue. Not the denim with the blue. With the purple, the freesia, and the crumb cake. But I, it's very country bumpkin to me is what this one is. Um, so, doing good. I lost... Oh, he must have come off of there. So let's put him back. Okay. Are you guys doing okay? I feel like we made so many cards. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So this guy goes here. This guy goes here. I think we're getting close. Okay. We have two more of our A2 cards left, you guys. So let's pull this one in. We'll, we're going to keep cruising. All right. So there's this one. And, oh, I like this one because I did a double ribbon on this one. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so here's this and this guy. Again, we will try to de-stick it a bit and put on did that backwards. So let's see here. I got too many of them sticking on me. So this one can go here. Yay! We finished off a sheet, guys. Doesn't that make you happy? It makes me happy. <laughs> All right. You would think you wouldn't want to finish your sheets because that means you got to get more, but I like finishing things. I especially like the toothpaste container. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Grab your tear and tape, and we're going to work on this bottom piece. I'm going to put my mat in here for now. 
and so right about here now this one requires two I got two of them there okay so we're gonna cut two pieces that are just a hair longer like that now the bottom one goes down first and I'd have to say it's about that same three quarters of an inch. So if you look at the card, that is down there, where otherwise you have one on the outsides kind of. So I'm gonna flip this around and make it so that guy's right there. And now my tape is on the wrong side. <laughs> oh, I think it's uh, too high. Yep, it's definitely too high. So did, if you guys caught what I did there is, I liked having that design right in the middle and I didn't check that out before I put my tear and tape down which is okay we're just gonna put it right there so we've got extra tape but that'll help us later in life all right so now we're gonna try this again flip this over and you're about a three-quarter inch from the top and we're gonna get this first one down something like that and then you're gonna take the second one and just have it right above it so that you can see the bottom one and you're gonna tuck that, the tail's behind. That's all we did. Just made two rows. And then grab your tear and tape and secure it. Just like that. And now we can glue this part down with some liquid glue on the bottom portion of the card front like that so you know the two looked really cool and now I'm going to show you a little trick with my little knot thing too because I did two for that one all right so pop this up with some dimensionals do you see what I do there Barbara I almost went for the ribbon but I saw it said ribbon so my hand instinctly goes to the glue then <laughs> you don't always see me do that though I bet all right, so we're gonna get this prepped with some of these guys. Yeah, it's like a paisley-ish kind of look with this paper. All right, so remember this is the one that we cut it in half because it was a four by six. All right. Now this piece is gonna go off to the right-hand side. We've already got our little B sticker. It's kind of hanging out right over the top of that ribbon. And I've got about the same amount on the right and the left. And together, we can get through anything. Goes there and our knot here. So I cut myself about four inches twice. Hold them together, like line them up, and then you're gonna tie these into a little knot or whatever it's called when it's once. <laughs> All right, that's it, right? So because you have two of them going this way, I wanted two tails on each side, and that goes right on the corner here. And we're gonna grab out our glue dots and put that right on the corner there. Now, this is where our ribbon is not very secure. So in times like this, I like to help give it stability. So I'm gonna sneak this glue dot. I'm gonna try to get it underneath there. And that's gonna help hold that ribbon on the top. But I also noticed that the bottom is a little loosey goosey. So we're gonna put it right there as well. So now that that ribbon is really sturdy, I'm gonna put my bow right there. It's not a bow, but it's something like a bow. <clears throat> now I'm gonna, <laughs> they used to call me the queen of the clue dots, guys. So I am going, don't worry, Penny, I'll get rid of that in a second. I'm gonna put more right there and I'm gonna catch that bottom one nicely and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna put that little glue dot right there. So the bottom ones are pretty secure it's the top ones that are kind of flippy floppy, which is okay. Da -da -da -da. Got rid of you. And then I trim both of these separately. So there's one. 
and I'm gonna trim the bottom one a little bit longer so that you can see that there's two of them there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. The shorter one on the top, and then the longer one on the bottom. Oh, that's so cool. Isn't that awesome? You guys see that? I, I think that's so awesome. I love it. I think I love it. L-O-V-E, love. Love it. Okay, we've got to get some gray little guys going here. I got a big one, a small one, and then another small one. And that might be it. I think this one turned out better than that one. <laughs> it's so cool. Love it. Okay. I love it, love it, love it. All right. Okay, one more. <laughs> and then we have five left, you guys. I think oh, we're at two hours. Okay, so we're not so bad. I mean, it is 18 cards, you guys. I think I got to do a little bit of work and make this little pile go away. All right. Now, take your card base, fold it, burnish it, and we'll put our inside there. And let's, oh, you guys, I haven't even been looking at this, have I? Oh, we are right there. Okay. This one looks like this. So this one gets glued flat. If you like the other side better, you could definitely keep that up if you wanted. So this make, oh, there is a direction to this, guys. That's going down and that's going up. So you, if you want them growing up, you should flip that around. And then, oh, you guys, I did a little bit of a different ribbon here. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Okay, so how do you do that? Find the end of your tear and tape. And on this side, so prep it with some tear and tape. And I'm going to get myself ready here with the next one. So rip that off. Grab your ribbon here, and you've got a tail coming down. I'm making it long enough so I can trim the end. So you have your tail coming down, and then you're going to make yourself a little loopy. Something like that. And then you're going to bring, I'm going to make it a little shorter, and like that. And then this guy hangs down like that. And I'm not gonna worry about the length right now because I'm not sure which way I'm gonna cut it. But I prepped myself this piece so that I can flip this over. And that's how you do that. Perfect, okay. So this flip um, gets popped up with dimensionals. So you guys see I, I migrated to small little dudes here. They're harder to pick, <laughs> put on and pick off. <laughs> the B technique. <laughs> I love it, D. All right, so this guy, get those all off. <clears throat> I am leaving that backing on there because um, I don't want the flat part to get flat <laughs> where that is. All right, so this goes up here in the top right corner. All right, now is when it's time to trim your ribbon. So you see there, I made it long enough that I had a little hair I had to cut off on that side. And then this one has some white ones. Oh man, I did what, a lot of them. So I got five. One, two, three, four and five. Wow. Five on this guy. Is that not simple? That was so easy, you guys. And it's just a note. Cool. Okay. I think we have eight plus five done. So we have 13 done and we have five left to go. Are you guys doing okay? <laughs> I need some thumbs up. Give me some love if you guys are still alive out there. <laughs> I know this is a little intense, but we're getting it. All right. So I got one thumbs up. Yay. <laughs> All right. So we, now we get to these little baby ones. Okay, guys. Simple and cute. Okay, good. So we get to these little baby ones, this one. And now these, some of the, oh, yay. Now I'm seeing them coming. You guys are still there. Yay. <clears throat> so now this card 
has we can get through anything together. Now, if you're not a fan of that, put whatever you want there. But um, we the one that also fits there would be thank you for inspiring me. Okay, lots of thumbs up. So these are what fits there. And I was trying to use multiple stamps from that set to kind of show people the versatility. So let's grab a slip here and see how our, our sentiment stamps. Oh, it stamps pretty good. Okay, we're gonna take the shot on this one and go right there. Good. Um, I'm tempted, I'm so tempted because this looks a little like blank. I am tempted, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do that big flower power again on this little guy. So we're gonna grab that and this. Remember this one needed it at first strength. I'm wondering if it'll work. Let's see here, it's a big stamp. I might need a bigger piece of paper. Hi Cheryl Taylor. Let's grab this piece <clears throat> and do that. So let's get that flower right in the middle. I think that's cool. It kind of helps offset it so that it's not so white. And now, a little bit of assembly action, you guys. So both of these get flipped over, and they are both glued flat. So that one, oh man, we're covering up our goals again. Dang it. How are we supposed to move on in life if we don't have goals, right? <laughs> and we cover them up. Hi, Linda Bailey. All right, so then this guy goes here. All right, then. This one, we have a little bit of ribbon, so we're gonna cut, I don't know, maybe that much, and we're gonna prep the back with our tear and tape on that right-hand side. And this, I like to put one little glue dot right in the middle, we did this earlier. It helps just to hold it together, I guess you could say. So we're gonna just flip it like that. And then now this should, very easily just kind of hang out the back, right-hand side. And then I'm gonna put another little piece there. We're moving to the big dimensionals, guys. <laughs> they work, they just, they come off the sheet so much better than those little dudes. All right, so there and there. And then this goes right in the center of this. Now these Stitch So Sweetly labels, they're retiring. Um, when they're gone, they're gone, and I love them. They're in my top five. They, I think they're coming out with more different ones, which is great, but there's when you love something and it's so versatile, it, it's good to have it in your stampin' arsenal. So here's the difference, you guys, between stamping that flower on the background and not. So I think it really adds a lot to it to have it on there. Uh, this one, you know, I kept it simple, and I only put two little gray dots. I know it's not three, which is odd, right? But for some reason, I just put them, they felt like they belonged over on the edges here, like that. <clears throat> if you <laughs> if you wanna put a third one on yours, you definitely can. I felt like there was evenness <laughs> with putting them on the two sides like that. So, all right. So that little guy is done. So he can go here and he can go here and time for a drinky drink. All right, these last couple are gonna fly, you guys. You are a real blessing to everyone around you. So that is what it says on that stamp, right? Perfect, right? So they incorporated that into the Memories and More card pack. <laughs> oh, Cindy, you love the tear and tape now. I love it. Oh, I used to use scotch double-sided tape until I became a demonstrator and I thought, you know, I should support my own business. And so I did. I stopped buying scotch double-sided tape and I love this stuff. I use it all the time. I love the fact that you can rip it. My mom does not like to rip it. She will always get out my glue scissors and she will cut it because she likes to cut it and not rip it. So I'm like, but that's what she, you know, but either way, it's just, it's so easy to use and it's so permanent in nature and it works great with ribbon. You guys, 
that was it. I'm sorry, I talked all the way through that one and I didn't really explain to you that all I was doing was gluing it down. And I feel like I lost a little gem on this one. I had, um, I don't know, I had white on there, but let's see if gray looks good. No, I want white. So there's a big white one over here and there was a, there's a, maybe we'll put the small one there. I'm missing one over on this guy. He must've gotten flipped off somewhere along the way. Oh, Laura, you cut it too. So yeah, my mom, she will, and it's no problem. She will get out the glue scissors and she will cut it. And that's perfectly fine. You always have to do whatever works best for you. All right. So you guys, you might've missed it, but <laughs> all we did was glue on a, a little card mat earlier in the night. We had put the sticker on here. And so that's it. Um, and used it a couple times, then put it up. Then I met you and picked it back up. Yay! Okay, so that one's done. All right, so let's move that over here and put that here. We're on to that dude, which is, thank you for inspiring me. All right, so fold your card base, but we can't glue the mat down quite yet because there's ribbon on this card. So, tear and tape. <laughs> And this is a double again. So you guys, we're going to do two slips of ribbon. So if you grab your ribbon, I'm going to be very careful not to pull everything out with it. So let's see if I can multitask with tear and tape on my finger. So one, two, buckle my shoe, and then celebrate, celebrate. <laughs> Go on and celebrate. And then these, I'm trying to keep them in the middle or centered here. So, something like this. And then the next one can go slightly over it. I think on that one I put the bottom one is the top one, but it's irreversible. It doesn't matter. So, there's... Ooh, come on. All right. Definitely got to add a little bit more over the top here. Like so. And... This gets glued with liquid glue onto our base. Like that. Now, because that ribbon's there and it's a little bit thicker, what I want to do with that one is put dimensionals more at the top and the bottom and create a track, I guess you could say. So, what I'm going to do is actually put this right here because that, that ribbon is doubled up. So that's got to get cut right there. And then, so that's going to give me some dimensional right there next to the ribbon. I'm going to put, oops, I want to put it on the back side. <laughs> Hang on. Here here, there, and there, and then, okay, so you saw what I did, I kind of am creating a little track, and I don't have to guess where that is, because I put it right where it needs to be, versus putting it on here, and now this is going to get placed right over the top, I'd say something like that, and then the sentiment, Thank you for inspiring me. It's right here. And I think I practiced with that one, but I don't remember how it turned out. So let's grab our blue ink. You guys, we're almost done. We have two cards left after this one. Oh, I think that's pretty good. And you know what I'm going to do with this one? I'm going to put that flower on this one as well because I feel like that helps to break it up. So we're gonna grab our smoky slate again and do that big flower on here. And I want that, that flower is so pretty. I'm gonna to try to get it right on there. Cool. If you get where the other side doesn't have anything, you can try to slightly fill it in. 
So what I did is I put a little bit right there and it, it kind of helps fill in that where I missed a little bit. And same concept with this one. What we did on the last one, we're gonna put a little tear and tape. Hi, Barbarco. We're gonna put tear and tape there and cut the ribbon. Put a little glue dot in the middle to help kind of hold them together. So put that right there, fold it in half, and then that kind of holds it. And then this guy comes out the corner like that. Cover it up with a little tear and tape. I can never find that. I always gotta go all the way around it. All right, so that's like that. And grab your dimensionals and we're gonna pop this up. I know you guys are probably thinking I'm using black dimensionals and it's a white label, but I'll be honest with you, you really can't see it <laughs> through the white paper. And I wanna use big dimensionals and that's what I have here with me. So we're gonna put that on here and trim our tails. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. That, and then like that. And this was another one just like the last one where I felt like two would be good. And this time I'm gonna use two and I'm gonna put them right in that rounded out area. And here's the difference between these two. I think it looks cooler with the flower background actually. It looks, okay, so this could be for a guy and this is more girly, right? Because you have the flowery feminine background and then this one could, so here's your male and female versions. <laughs> so you can see the difference, very cool. I do like how pretty that flower looks behind there. All right. Oh man, dos left, <laughs> two left. All right. So this one looks like this, this little guy. Lots of stickers with this one. Oh man, what did I just drop? A sticker. Okay, it's a good thing it landed in my lap. All right, so this one, we have this base here. Um, yeah, that flower background does so much for it. Um, this one, we need to put the ribbon down. So grab the tear and tape. Oh, we got our celebrate, celebrate. Let's see if we get this in a good spot. So something like here and here. Oh man, just wait. I have a trick for this for you guys. I was very particular about where this ribbon was gonna go. I knew I wanted it right in the nook area of this label, right? So I knew I wanted it here. So how do you accomplish that by you know not having to guess? So this is how I, is this retiring? Um, the Honey Bee Blessing stamp set D and the both of, these two stamp sets are carrying over, if that's what you're asking about. Uh, the memories and more card pack and the note cards and envelopes are not carrying over. Um, so this is how I don't guess on something like this. I will get my dimensionals and I will prep them on the back of my label. And I'm going to do something like that. So I'm not gonna peel off this one, okay? I'm gonna peel off these top few here and I'm gonna put this onto here. Now again, this is not peeled off, so it's not gonna stick. Find out if there's a top and a bottom. I'm gonna go more like that. So because I didn't peel off that bottom one, it's not gonna stick on the bottom, which is fine. I'll get it off later. So this there now I'm gonna cut what I need for a ribbon. Like that. And now I'm gonna take, oh. <laughs> you guys, I put my tear and tape on the wrong end again. It's okay. I just don't need to use liquid glue there then. Okay, so get your tear and tape. And now what can happen is you can slide this ribbon underneath here because it's not stuck down and you can get it exactly where you want it, which I want it right there where the that little cornery area is, right? And then I can now take this off and stick that down. 
and it'll catch the paper because I had it lower than the ribbon. And then grab your tear and tape. So that's a little trick, you guys. I don't know if anybody knew that, to put that together like that. Put a little more tear and tape over the top and liquid glue it everywhere else. And that goes on here. Oh, you guys, we get to make another bow together. All right. So you are a real blessing. Now, this is the stamp that's crooked. So let's grab this sheet because that's where I was working on. And this is in the Misty Moonlight as well. And it was definitely a crooked one. So if I'm not mistaken, it needs to go clockwise. Yes. So... This is going to go clockwise a hair. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, we're going to do the flower power on this one too because it looks so awesome. So let's put, oh, my phone is down to 15%. Let's get some juice in it. <laughs> oh, otherwise, I won't see your comments, guys. All right, sorry for the cords, but this is how we got to roll now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't like it. Okay, there. Okay, got it. So, flower power on this one, too. So, inky dinky do the smoky slate. We're going to get that flower right in the middle. Cool. So awesome. You guys are going to be using this flower all the time now just to create a background on your cardstock. I love it. Okay, this is glued flat. So we can go ahead and do that. Gonna go right there. We get to make another bow together. So this is a, a little bow. So we're gonna move it in a hair. And I'm gonna go down towards the bottom. Up and over and under. You guys, I did a tip Tuesday on the bow maker back in February of last year. All you have to do is go to my Cards by Christine Facebook page where you are right now. And <laughs> oh yay, you're gonna do more future, in the future, memories and more kits, awesome. Think about doing the hand penned. I'm taking RSVPs, I'm gonna do the hand penned one which is in the annual catalog. Um, we've got it all mapped out. I'm gonna make the cards in the next week or two but um, I they're gonna be so cool just like this one. Um, very, very cool. Bow maker video, you guys, is in the, if you search for it with the magnifying glass, you just type bow maker, um, you should be able to find it. Um, this little guy's gonna go right in the corner there. Squish it, God. And then, again, we have to get that the tails are not, I'm not happy with them. So I always make sure my tails go where I want them to. I show them who's the boss. And... That one, I think I'm going to do it too because I want to flip it that way. Oh, we got to catch it right there. And I want to do one more for good measure. All right. I'm going to right back in there. So when I put my bows on cards, you guys, they are not flippy floppy, wishy washy bows. They are meant to like be a showcase on a card. So. Trim your tails. It's so adorable. Oh my goodness, look at that cutesy little bow. Is that not the cutest little bow you've ever seen? I mean, I'm sure there's cute bows, but it's so adorable right now. <laughs> okay. Oh man, I love it. Okay, so I put a little white guy right there, and then there's a gray guy up here, and then another little white one can go, oh, nope, I did gray up there. So with a mixture of gray and white gems on this one. But look at the difference again, you guys. Doesn't that flower background make all the difference? I'm just, I'm amazed how pretty it just makes it pop. I mean, I thought this was pretty, but this is prettier. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, good stuff, guys, good stuff. Oh, we're not done. Oh. <laughs> I looked at my pile and I'm like, there's stickers here yet. Okay, so the thankful for you goes on the inside. Okay, so we're going to just use it up, guys. Go for it. 
Now I've got this little <laughs> ensemble right there. And honestly, it was so pretty without it, but we're going to use up stickers because you know what? I don't want stickers left over. So this one right here is like the gray one. And then there's a two headed flower like that. He is sneaking out. Let's just see how I want to do this. He's sneaking out the edge over here, something like that. Okay. Then you have this bigger one. He's hanging out up here. And there's a long skinny one that kind of rounds it out right here, kind of fills that up. So we're basically rounding. There's the, the where where did this guy go? I'm trying to think about it. This one is on the bottom here. So I might just try this all at once here, putting this on. Okay, so that's gonna round up our corner. If this is too busy and you don't like the stickers, you guys, I tell you every time, do whatever you want to do, whatever makes you happy. But it just kind of rounds out the corner down here. Now I'm trying to think where this little guy was. If he, oh, he's on the last card, ha ha, he's over there. Okay, so I think that might be everything. So we just kind of made a little ensemble of flowers back over there just to round up the corner. And again, if you you guys like it better, I'm going to show you how easy it is. If you like it better without having all that on there, you can take it off. It's really, it's check it out, see if you like it. If you don't, go with whatever makes your heart happy. Okay, I'll go with it because I don't want stickers left over at the end of the day. <laughs> all right, last one, you guys. Oh man, we did it, two and a half hours. So that means that God's gotta be eight o'clock, I'm guessing, let's look. Oh yeah, eight o'clock on a Friday night. <laughs> okay, all right, you guys. I generally, when I do bows and ribbons and stuff, I don't wrap around, but in this case, I had to because we had all card base left and we had a big sticker. And so I'm gonna leave that right there to hang out, maybe just some of that off of there. We'll put a lot of dimensionals on there. But for this ribbon, I had it wrap all the way around. So we just got to get enough cut. So let's cut it first so that we have enough to wrap around. And I didn't want to see a seam, right? I do not want to see tails back here because it looks raw, like unfinished. And so I bring it and I wrapped it around the front and I secured it where my we're gonna just rip off two right away so I'm not hunting for it. I secured it right where the flower was gonna cover it up. Okay, so like cheese, queso. <laughs> uh, so this goes about here. Just, you know, catch it the tail there. And you're gonna run this around. Check to make sure you're running even. And then this is gonna come right back and meet right in the middle. And then I'm going to put another piece over the top, because you guys know I like to make sure it's duly secured. Um, then this guy, we're just gonna load it up with dimensionals, you guys, and then we won't risk it catching anywhere. And this might be a little bit of overkill, but I'm okay with it. And just because there's a little baby area right there. Okay, oh, thanks Robin. Robin, I got your package in the mail for you today with your game night cards and your paper pumpkin. Woohoo! So you got a little happy mail coming. So this one, you know, make sure you cover up. You know what? We're going to take that off of there because it should be okay. So we're going to cover up that seam. And that bow is going to go right there. And this sticker is going to go up here. You guys, I just want to get rid of these sticker pieces, right? And then this one hangs off the corner like that. And we get to make one more bow. Okay, you guys ready for it? The last bow. Oh, how big does this one need to be? I think I'm going to do this one, but I'm going to go towards the top and kind of bring it together so it's a smaller one than on the bottom. So grab yourself enough ribbon and here. Oh, you're very welcome, Robin. I appreciate you giving me your address so quickly. I do not know where I ever, I don't remember if I ever got your address and I went to go mail it yesterday and I'm like, I don't have your address. Where did I ever get your address? And I, I just, 
You know, at some point, you just got to stop looking and ask for help, right? <laughs> so that's why I was like, can I just have your address? <laughs> All right. Bowmaker is retired for the night, you guys. All right. And then this little dude is going to hang out right there. Now, it is kind of close to the bottom of the edge of the paper. That's okay. We'll make sure we cut our, our little glue dot or our little tails good. So we're going to put that right there. Put it right in the corner. I don't like that little stem hanging right there. So we're going to cut that off. And then our little bow can come up a little higher. Now, again, you guys look at my tails, like they're going everywhere. So no, we don't make that like that. We're going to put one of them coming down like that. Now that one's still going that much. Penny, we'll, we'll rip it off. I won't say that every time. No, I promise. I won't call you out every time, but that was hilarious. Oh, here, look it. It's right there. And this one's going to go right there. Okay, so doesn't that look much better when your tails are going where you want them to? And then fluff up your bunny ears, right? And this one is going to get cut right close to the edge. And then that one as well, just like that. Another cutesy little baby bow, guys. And then glue scissors are probably retired. Ribbon is retired. And we have white beads to put on here. So one there, a little one. I put right on the denim ribbon. It shows off really nicely on the denim. You know, let's put a gray one over here just so it shows off a little better. And you know what? I've got a lot of gray left and I got white left. I think we should try to put one more. Oh man, mom says when, you know, too much of a good thing is too much, right? So we're just gonna leave it where it is. <laughs> Three is like my magic number for her embellishments, you guys. So. They don't look much different, but that was my trickery on how that one got put together. So, oh, so nice. All right, let's pull in all the cards that we made. And I don't know, are you guys gonna even be able to pick out what a favorite one is? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna set these all out right in front of us, but I'm gonna put these away first. And I'm gonna move some stuff out of the way so that I don't get ink everywhere. And this is gonna go here. And we didn't do so bad. I don't have like a very messy area here. And this can go here. So look at glue dots and not, <laughs> I'll be like, every time I see the glue dot string hang there, yes, Penny, I'm gonna think of you. <laughs> That's how it goes, right? Okay, so we're gonna lay these all out, you guys. And let's see if I can fit them all in the screen. And tell me, I'm gonna try not to cover up my name. We're gonna put that one. Oh yeah, that fits nice. We're gonna put this guy right here. That one there. No, we're gonna put this one here. So you guys, you still will have a lot of denim ribbon left over. I like that one a lot. I'll put him here, there, there, there. Oh yeah, you can kind of see that. What a beautiful day for love. L-O-V-E, love, sweet love. Okay, oh yeah, these are what's left. Okay, so you guys, this is the memories and more class. So this is what I'm talking about. We're gonna do a hand pen class and I need you to, um, I'm gonna try to make the event. You don't have to even be, like I don't have to, if you wanna take it, you just have to tell me and I'll get you on the, the list and we'll figure out payment later. But this was the hard and home memories and more class. The hand pen is gonna be very similar except for I think it's gonna be two less of these because the hand pen doesn't have little cards like this. The hand pen is all big cards like this. Oh my gosh, there's a gem, I felt it when I picked it up. Um, the hand pen is, um, they're all the big size, but don't worry because you get the big envelopes. And so with this one, you guys, you got these cute, adorable little, these envelopes. And then you got these envelopes. And then for my A2 cards that I added, you guys got eight of those. So now that we have, Cindy likes the navy blue and white ones the best. Holy moly, Elaine says it's a lot of cards. Okay, so I always like to pick my favorites too. And there's something about this one that I love. I love this card here, this 
mat that was created and it just says beautiful day. I like that. I like this one because of that flower on here and that lamb technique. Very simple, but very pretty. Um, a, yeah, great accomplishment, accomplishments in a short amount of time. Yes, we got so much done, you guys. I mean, just think we made 18 cards. You have five. So you guys now, when you're, those that have this, um, the last one, which was the, oh, this little guy, he's cute. Yes, so I was just gonna say that, Linda Hall. So what you guys have now, for those who got the class from me, or if you have this note cards and envelopes pack at home, you can make all of these again, these big ones, these five big ones, exactly the same. In addition, you can make these five small ones, right? They are the same. What happens is I provided the card bases for these other eight, and I provided the mats for them and envelopes for them. So you would need to, if you wanna use up those pieces, you would need to add more cardstock, either side, so it was cider, crumb cake, and misty moonlight. Um, you could probably get by with all misty moonlight or cider too. I mean, um, so, and if you don't have those colors, maybe using grays or tans. Um, last one and all those with the big flower. Oh yeah, I just, oh yeah. So you guys can see, I didn't, these are the other set. <laughs> this was my other set. So I should have done this. So there's that guy. I had grabbed the wrong pile apparently and I didn't even notice it. There was that guy and there's that guy. So those are the ones with the flowers. But from a distance, you probably have a hard time seeing that. So, oh, okay, <laughs> wowzers. So, I mean, it's, it's fun to make simple cards that look pretty, right? That's what this is all about is it took Carissa and I sat down for maybe an hour and a half. I like three, I must have been the beginning of March actually. And it could have been even late February. We sat down and we just, what we did is we opened it up, split the packs in half, and then we just started playing with it and putting them together. And so like Laura Sullivan, you say you have some of them from like last past kits or past catalogs. Uh, that's what you're very, oh, thanks, Linda Hall. I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I did a good job. Um, that's what you guys just need to do is, it can be overwhelming, I think, is what happens. And that overwhelming takes over. And then you think, ah, it's too much. And so you buy it and then you feel bad that you bought it and then you never used it. So like, just think about all these beautiful cards. And if you don't have the need for all of these beautiful cards, because you may not need them for whatever reason, think about donating. You know, you guys have a hobby, right? Um, this is a hobby. We love it. And you want to make cards, but you don't want to be stuck with thousands of cards either. So, you know, there are so many places that could use beautiful handmade cards um, in senior homes or in the veterans' homes, um, uh, anywhere that you, hospitals, anywhere that you think that people could use cheering up is where you could donate cards, churches, um, and hand them out. So, um, so Doris is saying, I don't see hand penned with this many cards on your class list. That's because it's not on my class list. <laughs> this came out of thin air last week. <laughs> this came out of thin air, I think, when I did the last chance walkthrough or maybe last week. I don't remember one, but it's been less than seven days. And so, first of all, I needed to see if there was interest in the class. And I had seven or eight people before tonight that said they were interested. So, to me, that was enough. <laughs> and, uh, um, so it's not even on the calendar, you guys. And the thing is, if you saw my calendar for April, you know I can't fit anything more into the calendar for April. It's no way. So what I need to do now with the hand pen that I keep talking about is I need to know who wants to take the class so I can make sure I have the materials for you. And the class is going to be in April. Oh, I just said it wasn't in April. The class is going to be in May. I feel like I'm still in March. The class is going to be in May, you guys. I could not fit another thing. Um, have a good night, Brenda. I could not fit another thing into my schedule in April. I promise you, I can't. And so I looked at May and honestly, um, the first two weeks of May are cram packed with like the bundle class, the monthly class and the Kellogg launch party. So I actually looked, um, D Serena and everybody who's listening about hand pen, it's um, the online version is gonna be May 25th, uh, which is a ways out, but I need to get you guys signed up for this class now because this is a um, retiring product and I need to order it 
before it goes and I need to make sure that I have people signed up for it before I order it. So, um, so, so it's coming out. I had, I asked Kelly today to make the cover photo for me and I'll create the event. Now, just remember, if you don't catch it live, the replay will always be available. So, um, Sue Somerville, I think we put you on for it already. No, we didn't. So Sue, um, and Deb and, um, D. I will add you for now onto my list so I can always follow up with you just to confirm. Um, Sue Somerville. So it's going to be the same cost, you guys. Um, I picked a higher dollar value ribbon to go with it that offsets and the ribbon matches it perfectly and I have not used it yet for a product-based class. I'm so excited. Um, so the cost, Deb, will be the same. It'll be $50. Oh, Mo, I will sign you up too. It'll be $50 for porch pickup or $59 mailed. And it will include the memories and more card pack, the note cards and envelopes, uh, rock and awesome embellishment that I haven't used a full package of in a, um, a product-based class yet. And then it's a ribbon pack that is actually a combo pack, not just um, a single pack. And so it's awesome. Okay, Jeannie Parker and Carla Lake. All right, Carla Lake, Jeannie Parker. I got you guys down on my list. Doris Monson, I have you down. That is the most important thing, you guys. I don't, like, getting you signed up is most important, and then paying for it or figuring out that financing part is, like, secondary to me, you guys. I always know that we got a good system, and it always works out. So, um, perfect, Sue Somerville. You can send me 59, and that would be awesome. And that's what it is, you guys. Um, so, the ribbon embellishment, the ribbon and embellishment is a little bit higher than what the, um, um, what I used for this one. So kind of, I don't know, when I did the math, it came out pretty much identical. So, and it was work, you guys. <laughs> it took two hours to sit with Carissa to plan it. And then it took me two hours to actually make them. And then it took my mom and I about two hours each to kit everything up and mail it. And then it took me an hour and a half to write the PDF tutorial. So it really was a little bit of work for this class. So, <laughs> but it's always a labor of love, you guys. <laughs> so everything always takes time, it, it seems like. So um, so yeah, so I'm planning to do it um, in person, you guys, May 23rd, which is a Monday. I chose to do the in-person one on the Monday and then the online on the Wednesday of that week because that is the week before Memorial Day weekend. And I have no idea what people do for that week if they leave or they leave over the weekend. But I figured the online version lives on forever and you can always catch that. So um, Jennifer Jones, yes, I can sign you up too. Awesome. So, all right, you guys, we have to do a door prize though. I And I want to announce who won the New Horizons cards from last week. I did that drawing earlier tonight um, so I can list off those names. If I didn't say your name that I got you on my list, it, it doesn't hurt to ever follow up with an email or a text or um, a Facebook message and just say, hey, don't forget, sign me up for that. And I'll just say, yep, I got you on the list. Or I'll be like, oh, yep, I can get you on the list. Um, so that works out good. Oh, I need the sheet here. So I'm going to do uh, a random number generator and we're going to flip this down uh, so that we can pull this up and show you. And so I had 17 people. Oh, actually, I lied. I have 21 people because I have Carol and Laura and Brenda as well. So we're gonna include you three. So we're gonna do this out of 21 people. So random, and then I'll flip you guys down. So I have 21. We're gonna click the word generate. Number 18. <laughs> Where's 18? <laughs> I didn't make an 18. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny, you guys. There's number 18 and I should have, okay, so technically, in all honesty, all honesty, so Brenda Loveless should be number 18 and, <laughs> oh, I'm going to make the executive decision that there is no number 18 because nobody's name is there and I'm going to draw again. So 18 is null and void. Number three. All right, Patsy Roberts, we're giving it to you because I did not make an 18. So Patsy Roberts, I have you as number three. And so I will have a door prize for you in the next class. You guys, I got happy mail too. <coughs> so look at this hot diggity dog card. There's a belly band, opens up, got an extra slip of paper. I love it, Randy Schultz. So look at this, you guys. I think this is calling for a fun fold class. I love it. So this is um, from the hand pen suite. 
And then she has a matching envelope for me. Oh, I just love it. Randy, it's so beautiful. I love it, I love it. And then she even made a little slip of paper that was separate that when you open it, I have all the ability to write my own little love note on the inside. I love it. So very pretty. I was so excited my mom opened this. So my mom got my mail for me today because she was here helping me. I love it how you even put a banner on the end here so that you didn't have a seam. So cool. And so my mom saw it first because I'm like, mom, can you just open it up? Um, so that was awesome. That was my happy mail today. All right. So we have here, you guys, I got a whole mess going on. I get it. I got it. Um, but I've got the New Horizons. So if you missed these classes, these cards from last um, Thursday, um, then you should go back and watch the video. So drum roll. This one goes to Laura Kemp. Laura, I do not have your address. I think I need it to send this beautiful card to you. This was my favorite. And this one goes to, it goes to Maria Gilbertson. Maria, I need your address. This card goes to Jamie Tafoya. Jamie, I have your address. So I know where to mail this one to. Da -da -da. This one was so pretty too. It was one of my favorites. And it goes to Francis Rodriguez. <coughs> Francis, I don't have your address, so I will need that. So these are the winner, winner, chicken dinners. Congratulations to all these lucky ladies. Oh, this New Horizons was a hot card class. Oh, man, you guys loved it. 86 total people got these cards. I was blown away by that, you guys. That was so awesome. Uh, and I found a gem that fell off. So we're going to make sure it gets put right back on where it needs to go. Right there. I got it. So... Congratulations to you four lucky ladies. Uh, congratulations to Patsy Roberts. Patsy, I don't believe that you've won a door prize yet, so that's awesome. Oh, take a deep breath. I'll get some air in. <laughs> All right, guys? I'm um, trying to think here. Um, so tomorrow, we have on tour in the hive here. I had 20 people from my team sign up for on tour. And everybody that signed up is welcome to either Zoom with me tomorrow watching the event or we're having a breakfast party. Oh, man. I'm making an egg sausage souffle uh, right now. <laughs> and so that'll be ready to bake. It stays in the uh, refrigerator overnight. Uh, so we're doing that tomorrow. And then I'm so excited. Uh, Tyler and I are going down to Dubuque, Iowa to visit Deb Norman. Uh, well, a winery and Deb Norman. <laughs> And her husband, Ed. So that's awesome. Um, we're going to do that tomorrow. Um, and I, I have no idea what Sunday brings. But I looked at the forecast and it showed rain or snow or watery precipitation or something. But we'll make the most of it. And then, you guys, Monday night is the 4th. I have bingo. Um, in person, it's full, which is exciting. And then, you guys, be ready for Tip Tuesday. Just remember, it's going to be videotaped. And so you can't watch it live. So if you have questions or need answers right away to something, just make sure you reach out to me personally versus commenting. Um, but otherwise, comment away on it because you're going to love it. Um, and then Wednesday's um, Lucky Hand. And you guys, game night is Thursday. I've had a bunch of people request access. Thanks, Louise. Um, thanks, Cindy. I've had a bunch of people request access to the Stampin' Game Night group, which is perfect. We need to be in that group um, for Thursday of next week. Kelly will share this video to the Cards by Christine, but it will be live in the Stampin' Game Night. Um, it will be a great weekend, Penny. Should be anyways. We're going to have wine. <laughs> Forecast of wine. <laughs> so that's good. Um, I have about 10 sets left that I'm planning for you guys for um, game night. So if anybody wants to get on those beautiful daisy cards, please reach out to me um, immediately. So I can make plans. Um, I have um, these cards right here are the daisy cards. I know that, I think it was Barbara Moynan just reached out to me tonight. She said the stamp set is gone, but the punch is still there. Um, but you could always use different flowers instead. So thanks, Lynn Beasley. Thanks, Jeannie Parker. Uh, the cards are beautiful. So if you're not signed up yet, um, I'd love for you to sign up. And I can um, get them into the mail to you as soon as possible. Uh, so anyways, oh, the prizes. Do you guys want to know what the prizes are? Hang on, I'm going to tell you. I think I finagled it and made it work. That, the prizes are going to be the Nature's Print Bundle, which you guys don't know what this is, but if you're on the, if you've already gotten access to the catalog, you'll know, because I know there's a bunch of demonstrators that are signed up 
So Nature's Print, which is part of the Sun Print Suite Collection, I'm giving the bundle away. The Happiness Abounds Bundle, which is part of Hues of Happiness. The Sending Smiles Bundle. I'm going to do, um, I think, the He's All That Bundle. And then I'm going to do all the ink pads and the reinkers too. Woohoo! So those are the five bundles that are, uh, or five packages, prize packages that are on the on the docket for game night that five lucky ladies are going to win, or men. No, I think we have all ladies playing. <laughs> so five lucky ladies. I can say that safely. Um, how much is game night mails? You guys, I really undercut myself on it, and I'm okay with that. But I know that as long as I have 10 more people sign up, what I basically, it, the, the game night was only $39 mailed. So it wasn't even that much more than ink, paper, scissors. <laughs> so oh, I, it, you get a, a pack of pearls and you get a roll of the gray granite shimmer ribbon and you get the four card kits, which are beautiful cards. And um, I take about maybe five or six dollars of everybody's registration and I pull that together to get the prizes. And I know that once I have 10 more people sign up, it'll all work out and be even. And that's where I'm, I picked the bundles based on 10 more people signing up and then I'm square. Um, so it's going to be awesome. Uh, you have your opportunity to win. And I, I know we talked about this, that if the internet goes down or if something happens, we'll get right back up. Or if it's freezing, it hasn't been for a while, which has been awesome. It's been about three weeks now that we've been doing good. Um, definitely Penny, I'll sign you up for game night. Um, it's, um, it's been good with the internet and Kelly watches everybody's numbers with you guys. And so we wait and we make sure that everybody is, we've got it down pat now at this point. So that's awesome. All right. So Penny, I have you down for game night. Um, what I need from you, Penny, are your five lucky numbers between one and 25. So just message me them. However, um, <laughs> D Serena, you're so funny. Oh, you changed your mind. Say, okay. You're signed back up for game night. I will put you back on the list. I don't know what your five lucky numbers were, and I'd have to hunt for an email with them. So if you could message me your five lucky numbers, maybe you never gave them to me. Um, that would be fine if you could send them to me. Sue Somerville, you are on the list. I'm pretty, if I'm not mistaken, you're already signed up for game night. So um, we'll double check just to make sure, but we can always look at the post-it note I sent you a picture of, of your classes that you wanted to sign up for, but I'm pretty sure you're signed up. So um, I'll double check though, just to make sure. Okay, and we figured out that Debbie Schultz signed up too. <laughs> I reminded her that she signed up, and so that was good. Okay, so yes, yeah, so now I'm down. Um, oh, Jennifer Jones, I think you're saying, no, I might be far away. Jennifer, you said that you wanted the hand pen. So, um, yes, yeah, Sue, I think you're signed up. Um, yes, yeah, so my internal space is dangerously low on my phone. Do you ever get that, you guys? <laughs> I think I have too much stuff on my phone. All right. I think that I got Penny and D. I've got a whole list of hand bend people to jot down. Um, we did good tonight, you guys. <laughs> Three hours, but we made 18 cards start to finish. Wait, they're not finished. You guys have to go back and do your insides. You need to do all your stella ing, okay? We didn't do that from card to card because I knew that it was going to be a long class, okay? <laughs> so, all right. Promise me you're going to go finish your cards. <laughs> oh, Patricia, you want game night too. I will put your name down and you can confirm for me if you do want it or not. Um, I'll add you so that you're in there, but if you decide maybe you don't want to, um, that's okay. I can um, take you off. Jennifer, I think you might be signed up for game night. I will check. I'm going to put your name down and you can always tell me for sure, but I have you for hand pen and I will just double check. I mm, mm, can't remember at the moment. So, okay. Lots of stuff. You guys, if you're ever uncertain if I ever catch anything or you want to make sure I catch everything, um, always follow up with messages. That always helps me just to make sure I don't miss anything. So, okay. I think that we can officially be good to go. All right. <laughs> uh, we officially earned, or I did, um, an alcoholic cocktail beverage tonight. I think <laughs> we should drink a bottle of wine because we need to make room for what we're going to be bringing home with us. <laughs> so, all right, Patricia, I have you down. Um, for Patricia D and Penny, I need you guys just to send me your five lucky numbers between one and 25. And D, <laughs> Deb, your bag is so big on the counter. It's, it's crazy. It's like, like that big for us to bring down. So, all right, you guys, good night to you. Lots of sunshine, love and hugs. And, uh, are you 
anyways, this was a good class. I feel really, really accomplished. And I hope that those that got the class from me get these cards put together and you don't sit on them for long and just get them made because it's so rewarding to finish this many cards in a, in a class. So, all right, you guys, love you long time. Bye.